Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your Monster Energy Grand Final. We have got a battle in front of you. On one side, the Thieves. On the other, Optic. It is time to get right into it. First off, we'll be introducing Thieves. We're kicking it off with Envoy. Kitty. Draza. And Octane. And now, for your Optic Texas, let's take a look at Ghosty. Shotzi. Dashy. And Hook the Nuke. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Here we go. Let's get rocking and rolling. Grand final start now. Here we go. It has been a long week of brutal matchups and incredible heartbreak. And well, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we're going to be breaking a lot more hearts today. Optic Texas LA Thieves, another iconic showdown here in the Call of Duty League. And what a road chance to get to this moment. Indeed, our teams are ready and the battle in Polaris is about to begin. And I am like tweaking with excitement right now because like, you know, this has been an incredible week of Call of Duty, like purely on a gameplay front, like this is the game being played at its highest level. These are two teams that like seemingly have hit their final form. It was a banger when they matched up the last time. I have high expectations that it's going to be the exact same way, even for the fact that we're kicking things off with a Hydro Shotzi's playground where LA Thieves broke their hard point streak on and like a six point game so it's been nothing but good i'd say for this tournament we've seen some of the most amazing plays in cod history at this tournament alone there's something something about the belong arena man there really is but this is it we are ready now to get our grand finals underway major four has been electric and that is uh well frankly pun intended we go to hydro first and foremost first to 250 points here in the game mode the hard point will move once every minute to a determined location across the map and you bet your bottom dollar these teams know exactly how they want to play this out and I love those stats so much of the two worst teams in the game on rotations on this map understand it better than everybody else because their records are absolutely absurd when you get the holds both of them absolute class they will lock it down but it's all about the mix it is the situational gameplay it is reading the spawns it is making the best of bad situations and dealing with the chaos that Hydro can provide it'll be Optic on the good side first let's get right into it here we go Optic coming up a very hot victory there over Atlanta phase three to nothing the LA Thieves handed them one earlier today God only knows what happens here in this hard point we get right into this one though the LA Thieves first time going their way Draza once again in the feed there he and Octane doing a wonderful job lighting things up keeping it red but Shotzi pumps the brakes sees a red light tries to turn it green 
Yeah, Shotzi buying a little bit of time, but here's the nice little standoff on the back of the map. It is Kenny versus Hoop. This is a matchup that'll last a long time, and Kenny gets the jump on him there. LA Thieves have already flipped the spawns, and if you're Optic now, make the best of the bad situation. Try to get that P1 time, but no dice there. Shotzi out of the water, the fish that he is, but he gets chopped down, and LA Thieves on hard point right now, looking clean. Yeah, they've got the right-hand side of the minimap suite. That's P2, the second point here on Hydro. They don't want to let too much get through. It's over Draza to be that brick wall of defense right now. Don't let Optic through. Look out, though. A hook on the right-hand side of the screen going for a swim. Shotzi now through the front side of Dome. Breaks are on. Here come Optic. And you have to know that the pressure's coming in through the water. You're going to have people just staring at it. Octane gun up, ready to go. Has the trophy for the boy, but Hook is playing it pretty distant, so it'll be interesting timing that he gets it. Gets a couple tags in. Octane forced to back down, and Ghosty gets LA Thieves out of time. Here we go, though. Draza takes care of Hook. Through Dome side. Can LaRue get two? He can. Somehow stays alive. Finds himself a two-piece, and that's another 20-plus seconds to be had for the LA Thieves. Now he gets to push up as well, so he can be the cutoff man. You have Optic, and actually, they're chalking it. That is a good chunk of time that they are going to be trading away, or maybe not chalking it. Maybe double back in case someone slipped through, but if they want to fight for this pressure, it can be a bit dicey. You can see the guys in the hill winning the gunfights, but a 60-point bump into that rotation. Optic, it'd be tested their holds as Envoy gets a close spawn. He has an opportunity for another quick gunfight in the back. He's going to get Shotzi. Battle for the backside spawns. You take care of this player on the left. Number six on the minimap. It's Shotzi. You kill him. Your boys will start spawning close to the hard point. Easier said than done. He's on the inside. Finds one. That's a big play. Can he get a second? He can. Anthony Cuevas Castro. Oh! That is unbelievable. Hard point optic. Yeah, fish out of water can gun you down the four spree in the moment where Optic needed it the most. I mean, that is a play that could go a long way. You'd have been down by 100 points if LA Thieves broke through on this one. But now all the pressure coming in through the P1 side of the map. It's SMG number two on the team who ready to fry. It is mixing this inside the point. Who comes out on top? No surprise. It's Shotzi. It's Shotzi right back in the point. Good stuff. Envoy, though. Late flank taken care of. That's going to be a nice chunk there for Optic Texas. Sorely needed. They've got these flashy kills, but they haven't necessarily got the time. Going for a bit of a dip now over to the other side of the map. We go to our next hard point. LA Thieves, once again, chance they are there first. Yeah, and maybe the only thing that could cool Shotzi off is this water down low, but he's just regenerating before he heats back up. It is going to be a halfway route. Making it to the point, and I mean, oh, wow. he's getting the intel, but can he get these kills? He doesn't have much help just yet. He's so sneaky. This is unbelievable. That's in the point. That's it. Plays on. Trades are immediate. Here comes the rest of Optic. Can they now capitalize? Oh, no. On the play he made. Envoy and Kenny in the feed now. Kenny from back rock. Can he do much? Back into the hard point. Keep the time flowing for his boys. Hook, though, he's managed to slip in. He might be able to cause some damage. But again, the rest of the LA Thieves, they are on a vigilant watch now. Chance of the point. Yeah, and guess who is leading that charge? It's Octane. 13 and 4. Him and Draza, the two ARs, completely locking things down. But it's the battle on the flip side. Shotzi, again, annoying. Trying to get these players out of time and buy his team an extra few seconds. But another Shang Hill for LA, and they have built themselves a substantial lead on Hydro. And now you even have routes towards new. I think will be here first, but they don't have a lot of pressure on the map. LA Thieves are finding quite a few kills. A cerebral approach from the LA Thieves towards new. Not a lot of members here from Optic. They're battling over towards the right-hand side of the map. So you're going to be overwhelmed in the point. Draza doing his due diligence, cleaning up the back line, takes care of Dashi. Up next, Dan Ghosty. Can Draza find the pair? The rest of the members of the Thieves, though, Chance. Good news for them. They're spawning close. Yeah, they will take those close spawns and try to make the best of it. You have Optic a couple guns ready. Shotzi actually preemptive on this route, but he gets traded. Draza ends up just slipping through. Big two-piece for him. The instant break might not get the highlight reel, but he'll take the time instead. Nice work. That's enough to get in. Not enough to hold, though. Dashi making his way through the side door. Shots. He takes care of one of the back. Hoop the front line as well. Great break. Hard point. Back in the hands of Optic. Yeah, and you see the idea from Draza. Spawns up, rotates, makes sure you lock down the sort of P2 spawn side of the map. So they're thinking in advance. Shotzi, though, I'm assuming dead silence. Yep, no surprise there underwater. So looking to flip the spawns. That's a good start. That's a big three down just like that. LA Thieves already spawning out on P1 as this game has turned into a mixed fest. Only a 20-point difference. Shotzi really is an apex predator in those waters. He is something. Over to Dashi now. Trying to take care of these players on their approach towards P1. Noser in the back line, Octane. Somehow managed to get the job done there with a Vaznev flying forward. Optic, though, wonderful comeback. They're right back in this one. 
Now the Thieves trying to break their way over towards P2. Shoes on the other foot now as the tables have turned in our second set of hardpoint. Far right hand side of the map chance, all optic for now. Oh, and I'm seeing though in that kill feed, it is TAC 56 is the whole way down. There's a two piece from Octane, Kenny and Draza both showing up as well. And it's the Vaznet players from Optic trying to be annoying around the point. How annoying is that? But Kenny does get the trade. Optic get the time and honestly perfection from them because they make sure to block those spawns as well. So nice little moment. You're down by about 40 points, but you have massive clearance on this map for P2. Yeah, this is a big comeback moment right now for Optic Texas. LA Thieves have let it slip for a simple second. Over 100 points now, P2 firmly in their grasp. Watching, though, all these angles. Here comes Kenny and the boys through the front line. Envoy backing him up. Close enough onto the point. Now you go, Ghosty, towards the back line. Has to stay alive in this situation. His teammates are getting bloodied up front. Here come the nades. There's the crossover. In the back line, though, Shotzi and Dashi still alive and kicking. Kenny can't quite cross over. The fight is not done yet. Down to Draza. What can he do? Finds one. No more. Optic retain control. Yeah, but maybe not for too long because you still have LA Thieves players pretty close. It's going to be Ghosty watching the cross and well, he's going to get the job done. But still another hit towards the back. Draza wants the time. Dashy ain't giving it to him. And this is an important battle for Scrap as well. For a game that's this close, you are desperate to get it. You got a team kill coming through, but LA Thieves eventually pierce the setup. And again, those rotational gunfights, Kenny's in the back. Well, the lead from the Thieves has dissipated quite quickly here on Hydro. Let's go for a quick listen in and see how composed they sound. I'm in the back. I'm in the back. I spawn deep. Top window. You want to top tens? Top tens? Top tens? Inside gens? I need a caution. I need a caution. I need a caution. In bottom door. Bottom door. I can't see the guy bottom door. He's trying to get out, bro. There's two on me. Fire, fire, fire. One shot to the right. I'm sorry. I'm going to get out. Nice. 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 I'm going to get out. He's P1, Mika, Mika. Once okay, from behind Tyler, bro. No, 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 he's dumb, dumb. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, listen, he's talking. I got time. I got need it, bro. He's, he's, he's I saw one P1 like Tyler. I got time, bro. Let's go. Nice, go. Ghost is there. I don't have time. Chow, 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 chow. I don't see this guy. He was hot. I just saw I, a second ago. I fucked him, I son. Okay, okay. I don't see this guy. Fire comes on one side of the stage. All red there. On the other side, though. Now let's go have a quick listen with Optic Texas. Dome, 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 draws. Top dome, he's top dome. two dome, two dome. Top dome, down to guy one. Draws a low dome, low dome. Yo, yo, when is, uh, yo, when are you going to cast right now? I spawn out, I spawn out, outer left, outer left, right? You're going to get to the outer left, yo. Side P2, side P2. Side P2, then. One more top, front side, shot you, right? Outer, 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 close outer, and you're trying to stay down. Push me out, opposite boulder, opposite boulder, on point. Literally, one HP boulder. No, he's front side time. Yo, yo, other guys boulder, other guys boulder. Back P2, one shot, he's going in P2, Kenny, in P2, Kenny. All right, boulder and then a point. They did spawn in the back. They spawned in the back. Yeah, they did. Okay. Oh, side P2, side P2, side P2. I'm unlocking P2. Octane side P2. Yeah. Uh, Kenny's going top right. Side P2. Envoy's top castle. Envoy's top castle. They're hitting right castle heavy. Yeah, yeah, what, what's hitting my castle? I spawned out. I spawned out. We're all gonna float. Me and Kyler float. Yo, what's ready for runs on me? Side, 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 side on his city. He's hard to send Hit me with the nade castle. He's castle, he's castle. Ruins, ruins dead. Castle, castle. Yo, back up and block. Running back up and block. We go middle. I can't, I can't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I have a sub, I have a sub. I think we have a through the left. I think we have a through the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One's that fleet through the left. We're missing Octane and Kenny, okay? Octane and Kenny. I'm on a pinch. I'm missing Kenny. We are missing Kenny. Yo, one guy's ruined and one guy's... Dick it, Dick it. Yo, Dick it's my banana. Ruined, ruined, ruined. I'll kill Ruins. That was Kenny. That's Kenny. And then we're missing Ross. Ruins that. Another one mid-cut. Octane. And we're missing Jaws. Octane front door. Going front door. I work top, I work top front. The back, the back I spawn out deep, I spawn out deep, they're both sides. Yeah, so yeah, one guy's all going up front, one guy's going up front. Watch Valley Pool. Front door, front door, front door. Every front, every front left, every front. Front hit by nade, front hit by nade. Every small, every small. One's gonna be in the back. Hands on. Yo, one's in the back. Yeah, that's great comms. That's wonderful player management and target prioritization chance. But what does it mean for Optic Texas now? Still trailing. Well, it means Ghosty has the pressure. He's got to be the UAV, the coordinator, and try to win the gunfights inside of the point. LA Thieves do overwhelm the final moments. And another two piece from Kenny. He's been racking up quite a few as though. Shotzi from the water, though, always on his Sunday best. But that is a decent chunk of scrap time. LA Thieves, they have maintained this like 30 point lead virtually the entire game. Texas, they've kept it close but they've yet to blow the lead out yeah, still we're holding on to it here we go third set of hard points here on hydro the game will end potentially here shotsy though he's the man in for optic texas trying to hold on this one a split map right now for the la thieves you've got to go big
As Optic find their kills on the right-hand side, that's huge. Octane, the last man alive there, now to reinforce the point. Looking for the time, not just the map control. And he's made it in. That's going to be hard point time, LA Thieves. Uh, this is great time to get, again, every single second. Optic or Forge, you can't play for the rotation. You have to get them out of this time. Oh You're going to have to flood it, and that is not a good start. Two big wins there for LA. And you can see only one player is pushing through to flip the spawns. It is a stagnant setup. This is God headiest to deal with. Right now, you have to gun these players oh. down, but Draza in the mix. Try to make it happen. Luke's trying to fly forward as well. Been taken care of also. That could be the final moments. There's enough time on P1 to get it done. ghosty has got to get in there. An open hard point for a second. Oh. Okay, we go to P2. Two stage attack now for Optic. Fly forward. Keep rolling, boys. You might be able to make it. Five seconds. Absolutely send it across map. Nade, stuns, tacticals, foul language. Throw it all. It'll amount to nothing as the LA Thieves take map one. And just picking up exactly where they let off. Having the off time, watching the other teams play, didn't make them ice cold at all. Still with the hot hand. 3-0 and against Optic in Hardpoint on the day. An unreal stat right there from LA, but on Hydro, piecing from start to finish. And honestly, I love the listenings out of both of these teams. You had moments for Ghosty where he's telling his team, he's like, yo, you need to go back and block those spawns, keeping everybody in check, keeping track of players. But you have on the flip side for LA Thieves, they might just have the best comms in the game. Uh, it's incredible, right? I mean, you feel like you are in the squad. You've got a nice top-down picture of what the map looks like. I mean, that is it. World Championship caliber team right there. Come in and offer that Vanguard season, and what a start to this Grand Finals. A 50-point game there. Separates us here on Zaqqa Hydro Electric. That's map number one done. This best of seven is far from over. Optic fans, no sweat. You knew it was kind of going to go this way. The Thieves, they had their way with you in that winner's bracket matchup as well. Plenty of cards still to play, though. Let's take a look at the highlights. And honestly, from LA, you can even see it in the stats, and you're going to see it in the highlight reel as well. It was just such a balanced effort all across the board. Octane got off to an electric start. Him and Draza, as far as the AR goes, first half of the game absolutely lights out. Then you have Shotzi doing ridiculous things like this to try to like set his team up. But I'd say towards the end, like you had Kenny picking things up as time went on, matching where his teammates were, and everybody from LA was able to share a little bit of that limelight, even little moments like this just for the snapper that Kenny has just to buy yourself a little something extra and for a 50 point game every single moment every single little kill is going to go such a long way and he just had a little bit more yeah it's tough man I mean at this level as well you can make the right play and if you don't finish that kill decisively someone's going to turn on you and you're going to get embarrassed like that but not too many of those found in this game LAPs up to Texas they've had so many sweet matchups in the CDL so far no doubt this will be another but what a great start chance Great signs of life there from Optic again. I think the comms were a little lacking. I think they were still, they were sort of struggling to create plays. It just sound like reactionary comms. They're calling out who's hurt, where they are, but they weren't necessarily saying, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to make a break or two. That was the big difference I found in the comms with the Thieves. And, uh, you know, so if you look at the stats, you'd see that Ghosty underperformed when it came to damage, underperformed when it came to kills, but his hill time was there, and he also carries the brunt of the load for the comms from Optic. That's what we heard from him of, like, Dash, he left at, like, the spawns open for a moment. He has to be told to go back and block. Ghosty's also keeping track of, like, hey, Draws is alive. We're missing this player. This section of the map is open. So you have, like, as a team, Thieves are working as a unit. Ghosty is doing a lot of that work himself, and he has done an incredible job of it for the team a major factor why they had that hard point success but again four world champs across the board that have been building that chemistry for two years now if not longer i mean when they're on point they're going against the best hard point team in the game and well they're looking like the best hard point team in the game they yeah, really are looking very very good indeed well hard point is done for now we roll over to search and destroy we go to hotel to play it first to six here in our attack and defense based game mode uh we'll play control after that as well for those of you who are new to the cool duty league don't worry we'll hold your hand through this long and terrifying experience for the more diehard fans they'll be sweating but the search chance how are we thinking about this one mate the la thieves we've seen all kinds of looks out of them in the tournament so far you got to hit a couple quick tags when you're talking about S&D for Thieves. I think Draza has a 2.0 KD in the game mode this entire tournament. So he's been completely on point. And overshadowing with his teammates, you have guys like Kenny that have like a 1.4, which is bonkers. That is a phenomenal stat line, but just a little bit overshadowed because of how good they have been across the board. And beat Optic earlier in a 6-2 fashion. Not on Hotel, a different map, but certainly for S&D, these have been wheeling and dealing 
that being said, as far as prediction go, throw the stats out the window. Who the hell knows? Because Optic, they have been on point for SD as well. Let's throw the stats out the window. Let's take a look at them right now. This is stage four, <laughs> oh, search and destroy overall. And as you can see from the thieves, three to nothing, two to two there for Optic. But Charles, I mean, is that anything to work off of here? That's the, the stage in general. I feel like now we're in a grand finals. Stats go out the window a little bit. It's just sort of, you know, who's playing best right now. And it's also who can make the reads on the opponent, who can study the VOD. A map like Hotel is going to be different. The fact that both of these teams' first blood percentage is that high, that is completely absurd. And maybe a bit of a struggle point for Optic if their record is 2-2 two and two when they're collecting first bloods like that. So got to make sure you clutch up. Got to make sure you win the rounds where you get that man advantage. So something to pay attention to in this map too. This is the green stage for the green side of the Belong Arena. We'll see how the search and destroy goes for Optic for them. Bounce back here in the Grand Finals, definitely possible in here on the cards. However, they are playing against the self-proclaimed best s &D player in the world, Draza. He got on the flank earlier today and he uttered those very words. Gotta love the confidence, gotta tip it indeed, but we'll see if that truly does come to fruition. He's gone up against four absolute demons. That man in particular, Shotzi. We saw some great plays from him on the Hydro and in the Search and Destroy as well. He is a difficult player to deal with. However, I would say, Chance, you know, enough footage, enough, you know, tendencies have been read. The LA Thieves, a very smart team surely they'll be able to keep an eye out for him in game oh absolutely i mean he's going to be sort of that like first blood wizard where he's going to be doing crazy stuff to get in the mix but the fact that on the flip side for the smgs you have a guy like envoy that's there for la thieves incredibly cerebral player he's going to be there doing like very meticulous things and will mix things up and envoy very difficult to contain in a very different way from shotzi but difficult to deal with in his own right so obviously the record there He's a bit better for LA Thieves, certainly over the course of the year. They love themselves some hotel, but that's where the research kicks in. That's where the tendencies kick in. And maybe something like Dashi wanting to square up in a sniper battle, but looks like he's got the tack off the rip. Yeah, Dashi's uh, boomstick meaner than most. We've seen him do some incredible things here on Hotel and Search and Destroy. However, we're going to put the boomsticks away and pull out the submachine guns. Shotzi, oh, he is on the hunt quickly. And I don't think his footstep. No, I take it all back. Kenny rips his head clean off first blood. And that's that meticulous stuff from Envoy. Runs up the stairs, baits it out right into his teammates, just setting his teammates up for the kill. So, again, high-level plays out of Envoy. That will be a consistent theme. And now you got the first blood. Again, LA Thieves, their record and rate is insane at about 70-something percent. We'll see how Optic handled the 3v4, but for the moment, LA not really giving them anything on the map. Envoy currently the lone guardian of the B-bomb site here in the kitchen of the Breenberg Hotel. Hook's going to enter. And they can hear him. Well, here comes the chow. Buys one. The second. Snakes are off. And that's going to be it. Reinforcements are in. Octane manages to get one before dipping out. Less than 30 to go. And it's all on a ghosty. Luckily, has the bomb. Well, that is the good news. Bad news is 22 seconds on the clock. And even if he plants it, which LA might be happy to give up, nothing you can do. But doing the smart thing, maybe trying to be aggressive to make a play. Unfortunately, yeah, he is trapped. He is surrounded, forced to plant. And you see that double chow is going to be coming through. No way to win it. Able to get one before he falls, but that is too well played from LA. And again, the setup man that round, Envoy, just wins it for you. Sets up Kenny for the first blood. Does the dance inside a kitchen to set his teammates up for the next one and also gets one himself. Envoy winning LA that round. One down, five to go for the LA Thieves. I just love the shots. I know there's Josh in the back there looking real nervous. <laughs> It's tense here in this grand final. The first time either of these teams will have won something here on Modern Warfare 2. Both of them have had a second place. By the end of it, we'll get a first. Here we go, though, into the next round chance already. Smooth moves, fast approach from the LA Thieves, but they're running a shot. Yeah, I was going to say he's going to get traded guaranteed. So Envoy able to get that dead silence reset so he can continue to make a play not wasting any time. And as the Vaznet for the job, dead silence reset and he can continue to fly. Ghosty might be the next man in line. Dead silence or not, that's a loud door, but you get the bomb down. You get bottom hallway control. Hook wins one on the flank, but still a very difficult clutch. It's a 2v2. There is 35 seconds to go. And the LA Thieves, all they have to do is sit tight and wait for this one. Hook, though, will he check this corner right? Uh-oh. He's let his gun fire. That's going to give away his position. 25 to go now. Ghost, he finds one. If Hook gets this kill, he does! Oh, oh no! 
He catches out LaRue peeking through the back door. Ample time to get the defuse. Good stuff out of Texas. They find the equalizer. Yeah, Hook the Nuke right there, breaking him down for that two versus three. You also have Ghosty doing a wonderful job just to catch Envoy in the mix in bedroom. But those two kills from Hook, opposite sides of the map. He had one over by double arches. He had the other, obviously, in the bottom hallway. He's going around the world to get these kills, but nice little 2v3. Optic happy to get it. Might have been a necessity to try to get some momentum their way. Round three. Optic on attack. We'll see if Hoot can add any more to this uh, spree he's got going on. Nice tap. No, tap. Drives up. Ends that immediately. First blood. They're on the round. Octane, he gets traded out. So the numbers are dwindling. And Shotzi, he's all alone now. But that's not a problem just yet. He's managed to find one. He has dead silence to play with. That'll make his movement utterly silent. Draza, though, saw him there. Let's see what he does in this situation. He's got to recover that bomb from the middle of the map and get to a plant. And you see Draza and Kenny, father-son duo, just wrapping back, playing together. They are absolutely going to be putting themselves in position for the trades. Not sure if they know that they have bombed down, but they are very distant. I would do the same thing if I'm against Shotzi. I would back up and take very long lines of sight and stay far away from this man. Don't want him to pull off any dance moves on me. Well, it looks like they're both going towards eight and the right time as well, because Shotzi's just arrived here. If he doesn't hurry up and get this bad boy down, it comes Kenny over the top. Tags Perfect. are in. The round goes to the thieves. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Again, reposition, group up together, wait till you have some information. I think Draza spot him over toward kitchen, but if 30 seconds have gone by and there's no bomb plant, eh, we'll go check the other site, make sure we do it together and absolutely jump on it. So nice little bounce back again. Heavy hitters. I think we're three for three on defense. But I'd say maybe a slightly scary thing for Optic. Admittedly only three rounds, but they've had the man disadvantage every single time. Indeed. It is first to six here in Search and Destroy. Here we go, thieves. Bomb in hand, and we look like we're going towards the A-bomb site for now. Let's see if that changes, Hook. Oh, you are tagged up, my man. Envoy, though, wisely backs up. Could have thrown a nade, tried to get a kill out of that, but he knows that the other members of Optic are going to be there to try to take him out as well. So no trades, no nothing. Straight over towards the B-bomb site. Thieves have already moved in. They're looking good. Here comes Hook on the back door, but it might be too little too late. Here comes the fight. This is going to be a banger. He just got to dodge the wall bang spots as well. Optic only hit two players here for the surrounding, so it is set up almost like a hard point hill. No one in spot to get wall bang to get the bomb down. This is great for LA. Bomb down, breach and clear. Here come Optic side door. Kenny's trying to hold him back by some time. Maybe get a tag or two in there. Watch out though. The wall bang spots right here. That's where Kenny won't be safe. Dashi on the outside. Draws a great timing. Takes care of Hoop. Shotzi's trying to find one to equalize it, but it's still man advantage. Texas. Dashi goes deep tagged. Everyone's hurt. 20 to go. All down to Draza. Shotzi's on the bomb. Will he be able to peek in here and get something done? No! What a retake out of Optic. And I don't know if we're going to have this POV, but Shotzi, I think, might have just world-starred Octane in that round. He found a Vasnev line of sight, I think, beamed Envoy when he was in Freezer. And Shotzi was at, like, the backside of Restaurant, and then 180 would Octane. Saw it on the mini-map, but Shotzi right there making massive plays on the flank. And that is a, a nice response and a beautiful retake coming out from Optic. Because as far as play calls go, that was phenomenal for LA Thieves. They got the setup that they wanted. They just got broken down. Wow, good stuff out of Optic. Tied up again here in the search. Three spree from Shotzi. If he gets to six, he gets a cruise missile. Very handy here in Search and Destroy. Good one before. Might be flying at him right now. Oh, oh my oh. God. Envoy, what a kill. Yeah, you can hear him coming. Doesn't mean it's easy to stop him. And now he's repositioned in a different corner. And yet, you force him into the chow. Aha. Nice little trade there coming in from Hook. And even up the odds at a three versus three. And that's the good news. Bad news is bomb in hand of Ghosty. Not near his teammates just yet. I think Optic might be making the play call to go over towards A. But Kenny, he's been staring at the cross the entire time. Yeah, Ghosty's got that bomb, but he's still waiting for his teammates to clear out a bomb site. Can he safely get across? Can he at the L bar? He's on top of the plant pot. Here's the chow. Nice trades. The bomb will be in the hands of Dashi now. Quick recovery. 2v2. Not a bad spot to be in, but Octane. Fast moving. That bomb's long gone. Yeah, pressure's on Draza as well. It's actually going to be too far. Not going to be able to hear him this way around. The instincts, though, you can see Draza 
a little bit aware, trying to be the cutoff man, but they're already passed. But it looks like he has the reads, him and Octane pinching from either side. Doesn't see a soul, has to slow down. I think Hook might have heard him. Hook's got to win this fight. He does. Over to Octane. Heavily tagged. Hoping for a miracle here. Can LaRue clutch up for the thieves? Looking for a wall bang or two. Not enough in the tank. Another round, Optic Texas. And, and Optic right there, making moves instantly. Zero hesitation. It was the double child to take down Kenny. And frankly, the double child was perfect. Kenny does a wonderful job just to get one. But as soon as they collect that bomb, there is no time wasted. It is a full-on sprint over to the other site. And obviously, if you get the bomb down in kitchen, easier to hold when you can just snake uh, whatever the cooking utensils are called. But snake like crazy, hard to retake. And again, capitalizing on the situation. Optic on the mid-round adjustments, they have been on point. Hey man, 200 IQ. Pays off wonderfully for them. Do they have a, a deep and broad playbook? Let's find out a couple more on this one. On boy, nice first blood. Trade it out immediately. Wonderful nade there from Shotzi from mid-map. And he gets another one. It's two on the round already for Shotzi. Can he find a third tag? Dart might go for the reach out. He is known to do so. And he's moving. Still holding couches. Ghosty's there for the teamwork as well. Brilliant stuff out of Optic. All down to Octane. All for a bait. I mean, maybe good news for Octane for the 1v3. He's got dead silence, not a trophy this time around, but very difficult to do and doesn't have a freebie. And he's going to pop the dead silence. And if you have it active, you got to start making moves. But I don't think Optic's going to give him anything here. No, it does not last long enough. He does manage to get the bomb and he is going to back on up. But that little conga line of white arrows, that is Optic Texas. And they are making their way through the outside of the map. They are about to slam this position. Here we go, Octane. You're home alone. What kind of tricks have you got up your sleeve? Uh, he's going to be playing for the timing here. He's going to go reach out and hope that he can catch someone on bomb. Checks it. You can wait another few seconds before you have to peek again. Here we go. Quick check. Uh-oh. Bad news. Behind door number one. It's Hook. Oh, he wins the fight. That's massive. The next two. They know where he is. And Ghosty holds the line. Iron sight was up. And he guns him to bed. Optic now. Take the lead by two. And you're that little head snap back in the player cam there from Octane because he knew child a little bit too quick. Had the perfect read on the situation. The first gunfight, ridiculous that he was able to win that, but big a little bit too quick. No to there for the easy two tap. Make sure you secure that round. And again, if we're talking about individual plays, that is another round where Shati just does it, just wins it for you. Gets the nade trade for the first blood, wins the second gunfight, and stays alive long enough to bait out a player to let Ghosty get that next kill. So Shati continuously menace on the map. When he's, uh, when he's really doing his thing in that flow state, as Clint said earlier, Maven brought it up. He really is one of the greatest players in the world. Can he get it going here? Big select from Octane. Not going to get anything done with the SPX there. Might go for the reposition. Draz is holding top bed. Not a safe place to be. The risk reward there. Power position. They're very frail thanks to those curtains. And both of these teams still feeling the round out. Shotzi is debating it. He's got the dead silence popped. He's made the cross. LA did not spot him. Oh, no. So Shotzi gets away from free. You're never going to read this. And there's the first blood coming through. That's the sniper out of the picture. Yeah, long gone. A bomb site now wide open. A lot safer now. You can get that bomb plant down. Estraza, though. We call him the Alaskan assassin. I'm sure you'll figure out why in a moment. But with Deddy running out, he's about to become a whole lot louder. Two players have crossed the bedroom for optics, so this is a difficult one to lose. And yeah, Ghosty gonna be there for the first kill. Four versus two. Father son duo the trades around and down. Draws up for the 1v3. Tagged up by everybody. No time on the clock. And just taken down. Shotzi again making those plays to win his team the round. Not just the final kill, but the perfect timing on the dead silence hit through the catwalk. Ten kills through so many rounds. These round winning plays. Shotzi looking to be in that MVP form. Totally, man. It was a land grab and he planted the flag in that bedroom side, allowed his boys to get across. No problem. And not even Draza's mighty gun skill could get him out of that situation. The rest of the team have been taken care of. Brilliant work. This is map point Optic Texas to level up the series. Here we go. 
here at LA. Desperation time as well. Maybe just a, a straight up hit out towards the A site. It'll be Draza's responsibility to watch the flank and it's the quick shot coming through. Shotzi knows how the movement merchant is gonna go. Gonna back draws it down. Quick to go over towards A. Two men out and bomb. See what the frack can do, but it's like a nice trophy. Gonna stop that one. It's like right down. Oh, he's out in the open. Can't catch one. A lot of damage into Octane, team, but not enough to get the kill. Here we go. Ashi up next. Trying to press forward. Ghosty's going to be the man closest to the bomb right now, but he is in such a tough spot. A lot of angles, a lot of corners to work with here. Nervous tension. They try to clear out the backside as well. Here comes Dashi to reinforce the push onto the bomb. Just over 20 seconds to go. Kenny right to the feet. Can he get the second? He can. LA Thieves, stay alive. Yeah, and I think the idea there from Ghosty was trying to make noise just to be a bit of a distraction and let Hook try to make that dead silence play on the flank. But as soon as that gunfight comes through, as long as LA keep that under lock and key, four versus two, easy to clutch up after the fact. And I'd say I like the uh, creative spin LA put on that round, doubled up on the bomb, both Kenny and Octane. So you have one guy flying off, taking the shots in from Shotzi, but... That is just baiting a player out for Kennedy to get the kill. Obviously, after that first blood, things were a little bit easier. So, nice idea from LA, but down 5-3, need a lot more than that. Very possible to pull three straight rounds. We've seen it happen before. It ain't over until it's over here in the Call of Duty League. Nades are out. Dead silence now from Kenny on a three spree. The wind is in his sails. How far will he go? As the awkward timing, he might get gunned here. Tags at least. Ah, this is terrible timing. Poor Kenny. Made the right call. Now the boys have got to move in. Try to prevent the trades happening. And he manages to get away with it. Bomb being planted at A though. Chance. Here we go. 4v4 retake. Can he catch him? Can he catch him off the bomb? He's able to. Stats a little bit for damage. Can trades come through for a 3v3? Shotzi dancing in bedroom though. The thorn in your side. And Ghosty's finding Aaron kills. This could be it. Could be it. Envoy finds one of the back. So wait. Shotzi's top bed position is going to pay off in a moment. Play of time. Ghosty wins it against Envoy. So the back line is safe. Eyes forward now. Octane, though, he's on the bomb. 20 seconds. Another 1v2 for LaRue. Gets one, but the trades again from Optic. So fast. Immaculate teamwork. And Shotzi adds another kill to the double digit pile he created. And take a sip of that water and kick back in your chair. We got a long series of Call of Duty ahead of us. Great game, number two. Shotzi the double digits and Ghosty in that final round. Absolutely making plays. Iron Boots towards the back of the map. The bait towards the end. I think he picked up two in that round as well. So Ghosty the perfect bounce back performance. All tied up, one to one. We're going to be going into control. But again, it is a best of seven series in these finals. Make sure you stay relaxed and keep that uh, the heart rate nice and low. Can't get too amped up too early. Oh, yeah, the equalizer there in the series. We're going the distance. I think Bucket said, well, we're going to end up commentating this one up until about 2 a.m. I hope not, but in a weird way, I kind of hope so. Here we go, ladies and gents. Stats there from Shotzi. Wonderful play from him. 11 and 5 in the kills department. It was Dashi doing the heavy lifting in the damage department, though. Great work out of him. Six assists. Putting the shots down indeed. LA Thieves, not a whole lot there on Breenberg Hotel. Optics simply too much to handle. And especially for the fact that you at LA, they got six first bloods compared to three. I mean, again, throw the stats out the window once it comes to the grand finals. Both of these teams have been more on point with executing the 4v3s, but LA Thieves falter in this one. Clutch factor too omnipresent, just like Shotzi was on the map. So tied up series, we go back to Expo. These two teams played it earlier today. Optic had the edge in a 3-1 victory. Although I know on the flip side, Octane was frying. So you imagine they can contend. We'll see what happens again. It's difficult to beat a team twice in the same map and mode in the same tournament, let alone on the same day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a break and think about how this series is going to go down. We come back. We're playing control on Himmelmat Expo. Don't go too far. This is the Call of Duty League.
The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by the new series Citadel, premiering on April 28th, only on Prime Video. The first hard point was pretty close. The search and destroy, not as much. We find ourselves tied up here at Major 4 in our grand finals in the beautiful state of Ohio. We're playing at a Polaris, but that, I believe, is the short north of Columbus. Oh, many memories. The mecca of Call of Duty esports, and that is what we are battling over today, ladies and gentlemen. That gorgeous trophy. No, it's not made of kryptonite, but there are plenty of supermen in this lobby. Optic Texas, LA Thieves, we're going to Himmelmat Expo for map number three. And the prime Superman to look out for on Expo is going to be Octane on this map. And again, it is virtually new just throughout this stage. He is a 1.48 KD overall. He's been the best player on this map. I can say that almost without question. Against Optic specifically, he levels up. He goes from a 1.48 to a 1.82. Octane has dominated this matchup, but that doesn't mean LA Thieves have always won. Another stat to pay attention to, Draza has a 0.63 against Optic. Oh, a slow one earlier, so yeah, those would be the two players to pay attention to. Well, here in control, there are two zones, A and B. Each team has 30 lives to try to capture or defend them. And after that, you win the round. First of three wins. Here we go. Yeah, poor Draza, you point out his KD, and the first thing Dashi does is delete him off of the map, and Dashi takes care of Octane as well. So AR is laying destruction on one side for Optic, but unfortunately for Dashi, uh, no one's there to help him over towards A. You had Optic that wanted to commit towards B off the rip, but instead, it's going to be a little bit difficult necessarily to go to either point. It's going to be a slow approach towards the A zone, though. Yeah, very slow approach towards the A zone. Optic attacking this time around. They've got themselves onto A for a brief moment. It's going to be Thieves right back in that one. Kills, though, either side starting to get going. Less than a minute to play for here in the opening round. And here on Hill, Matt Chance, we talk about it. The B zone, mostly indoors. Very, very submachine gun heavy on the outside. That's the A zone out there in the snow by the spa and the showers. Looking for those assault rifle players to have a good time over there. That's what Octane's doing now. Uh, he's locking it down as well. And this is a, a bit of a delicate spot for Optic as well, just because guys like Envoy and Octane are going to be behind you. So if you lose too many gunfights and you get stuck in the spawn trap, things can get out of control. So make no mistake, a big one for Dashi to win. You expect the trades to come through. Shotzi's there for one. Maybe you just have him buying the pressure. Octane not jumping on anything. It's looking like LA Thieves are going to let the B zone go. But lovely work. Optic Texas capture all three segments of the... B zone, we say goodbye to that and we add one minute to the game clock. One minute 30 ish now to throw themselves over towards A, but it will be no easy task. LA Thieves now still on that defensive poise. They're ready to roll. Bar control as well. Hook has managed to make it into the back line, though, Chance. He is going to cause some problems. We're almost on the point. Good work from Draza. And you had Hook at least draw out players for the trade. Envoy would be the final player that Optic needs to get the trade on, but it looks like Dashi not in position to lock this one down. So Optic can see their quest to search for that clean three or four down. Right now, Dash is doing everything he can to soften the blow. Gets great information. Has his teammate he gets sent in for the kill. Shotzi there for a trade, and now Shotzi gets to play. Oh, he's trying to tenderize this team now on the approach. Shotzi, oh, that's a nice bit of movement. Not enough on the shots, though. Great work from Octane Draza. They find the kills once again. A single life separating these two teams right now. It's 14 to LA Thieves, 13 to Optic Texas. Hook. You have Hook that's able to be annoying. Yeah, he's making moves, trying to shoot a couple players in the back. There's the Ooh. first one, and now Optic, they're putting the pressure on A. They've cleared out their back bus. Oh, it's not over yet. Back bus cleared out. The pinch on the point. Now, Envoy right back off spawn. Three clean down. Last man up, Envoy. Oh, Shotzi. He gets one and manages to sort of stay alive back here for a brief moment. Alas, it was short-lived. Final 30 seconds. LA Thieves still holding, but this is not over yet. And definitely running out of time from Optic, but again, you are just searching for that clean three or four down, and unfortunately, that is the worst thing that could possibly happen. Instead, it is the defensive team that gets the four-man wipe. Now you set up the spawn trap, and with 10 seconds on the clock, LA, simply no way they let this one go. Although quite literally trying to body block this one. No one should be able to get close enough to that zone. It was going to be ghosty. Stopped short indeed. LA Thieves, they win the first. And it really just is that difficult to break down the, the stranglehold. There was, a, you know, an opportunity off the rip. If the commitment was a hard A hit, Dashi actually found a couple of those picks towards the A zone, but uh, the reinforcement's not there in time. And then after the fact, LA Thieves 
always someone in position, someone blocking those spawns there for the trades, there for the kills. And I mean, Octane, maybe a, a slower round than ordinary, but even towards the end goes on a four spree. Once he's able to lock it down, that's when he's at his Sunday best. And it's Sunday. So what you did there, mate. Well played. Here we go, though. LA Thieves now. They will be on attack. Draza, two more kills. Gets himself a cruise missile. Very handy here on Expo. Chelsea backstage. He's in a bit of trouble. Kenny dead silence. Oh, it's going to pay off. That's the full reset on the dead silence as well. So he gets to run around silently. Have as much fun as he... Oh, my God. What a win from Chelsea. Envoy with the trades. You're back over towards the B point, and you are capturing it. There you go. It's two from Envoy. Yeah, that is a, uh, a delete button, I believe, that Chatsy is running around the map with. But as long as you get the trades, again, the clearance on the B zone, and you see LA actually going to have a, a very like passive setup. You have Kenny watching sort of the, the full flank over towards B, up top and down low. Maybe only one or two players even thinking about being on point. They're playing for the kills, and for the moment, LA, they're getting them. So, yeah, the setup is absolutely perfect. Everybody cornered up, ready to go. The slow capture pays off. Two minutes to work with. Let's try to get A. Lovely stuff. 27 lives for the LA Thieves to do this as well. Envoy out and about in the great outdoors. Not a lot of grass out here, but he's trying to touch some snow. That means he's getting much closer towards that A zone. Breesbury as well, Chance. He's looking at streaks also. Draws are now pushing forward. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of sweet kills. Last man up. It's going to be dashy. Eyes are on. Tags are in. Can Draza get it? Oh, there we go. On to the point. We now fly. And now you have Octane actually, you know, dealing with these players in the back. He is buying so much time for his teammates. And I mean, this is a lot of, you know, optic arrows that are looking for Octane. But you have Dashi getting picks in the meantime. It looks like LA Thieves not quite able to capitalize. But Octane dancing around can only take one before he falls. Admittedly, you have the back spawn pressure for LA. So they're going to get those close spawns. A lot easier to deal with. Opportunities to make something happen. On void. Cleaned up. Top bar now all safe. Optic on the approach again. Solid defensive work. Shots, he gets himself two. And that clock has been burnt significantly. We're down to a just minute remaining now. Optic Texas have done a great job here on defense. Hello. Buying time from Octane. Takes care of the invaders. Who can cross the bar? Heavy tags. But again, two players now on the point. This is a big deal. Got to hold them back. Draws has got his side of the map covered. Are they still able to keep the point going? Yes, Envoy still on it. First segment done. They've had the close spawns the entire time, so they're going to be quick for this pressure. Envoy incredibly patient, wow. ready for the chow, but oh. the double drop shot coming through and Optic nearly wiped them off the board. Raza, important gunfights to win, able to secure it. Maybe not quite against Shotzi. No, they clean house. Optic take care of business, but they still haven't blocked those spawns, so LA still going to be nearby. Optic have been in literally every corner. One of the point we get in a moment. Slow and steady capture now from Envoy. Ghosty looking to clear it under the coverage of that smoke. Here comes the hit. Takes care of business. The clock once again keeps ticking. Final 30. Dashi has been absolutely melting the LA Thieves here on Expo. 20 seconds to go. Shotzi's got the bar covered. Here come two members of the Thieves. Take a look at this crossfire and this thought with Shotzi. Yeah, doesn't want his gun to stick through the door, but only cheeky enough to buy him one. But this is still the long-term problem. Got to take care of Dashi. Two men on point. The Beamer not good enough. Draza wins one. Octane for the second. LA Thieves are here. This is a big moment. This is the fast stack right now for the LA Thieves. They're on it. Get rid of the contest. And the point is basically gone. No one there. Oh, my goodness. You get one chance. They smash that door wide open and steal it. That's the second that, round, and that's map point chance. Yeah, in the offensive round, it's going to go such a long way. That's sort of like the, the difference of not being able to block the spawns and setting up the trap. Optic are walking a tightrope that entire time of if they lose a single extra gunfight, which Dashy does right at the very end, it's the close spawns that are coming through. Enough players are going to be there to stack the point. It's going to fly, and then you have to flood into death. And as a rare moment for Dashi where the Beamer isn't completely on point, but Draza and Octane show up and deliver. Wow. You gotta give the credit to Draza again. 0.63 on this map against Optic in the finals. He came to play. He certainly has. What a turn of events. Not an easy thing to beat a team on the same map mode in the same day. And so far, the LAT has proven it to be true. They are running it so far. Not over yet, though. We have seen crazier comebacks in control. The final round here for the LA Thieves. If they defend for a minute, the map is theirs. 
dying while calling in dead silence. Name a better duo on the short end of the stick. But you see what Optic are doing. There's no pressure on B. They're trying to play this slow and look for the kills. And if they can ever hit the A zone, they would have taken it. But fortunate for them, not really getting any of these kills. Player's going to be stunned inside the point. But stunts on both sides. Shotzi going to have to deal with death. And yeah, the Semtex will deliver it. Is Optic still, it is scattered pressure on the map. This is not a fun spot to be in on the attack. No, not at all. Dashi caught out. Who ooh, does win his on approach now towards the A Street onto the point. Nice nade here from Octane. This won't take care of Hook. Won't even tickle him. He's the man doing the job now on A all alone. He's backed up. The Thieves will have a lot more map control, but in the meantime, the B zone is being slaughtered. Will Kenny be able to find anything here? He's looking to go down secret hallway. You see Dashing winning the gunfights, though. And I think Kenny's like, yeah, maybe I can hard commit on this one. Hook, by the way, never actually died on the A zone. And he now has Shotzi potentially there to help him. Oh you see Shotzi in the feed picking up kills. Hook's still alive over towards A. So LA, you've now lost B. Now there's pressure on the A zone. Now they have to fly to the zone. Hook's mission is one half of the equation. Shotzi behind enemy lines causing nothing but issues. You're still keeping the play alive. Dashi now coming to help the stack. This is big. Here comes the third man. Ghosty, the stack is there. The faster the caps, the more players are on it. Nearly done. Can Kenny get it for the contest? Yes! With a pixel to spare. Get the kill and get him off. Oh my, my god. god. What a save. The thieves stay alive in the round. It is the dance just to buy your top, like teammates, top, top glass to look over you. That is an absurd play in the nick of time and they haven't decapped that entire tick but more than half taken off that is a five spree from kenny that is a four spree from octane he is looking for the cruise and he is suffocating optic right now back to the spawn blender i cannot believe la were able to set this up i cannot believe it well it's not done yet optic have still got plenty of lives and one minute but my god what an expo this one is mate I mean, that is the, you know, honestly, probably one of the better dolphin dives in a uh, ComCod history. You that know? could be the like greatest. Maybe outside of a couple of flag caps in CTF <laughs> and World War II. That one was clean. That was a good one. Envoy holding down the trap. Optic have now broken free. Draza taking care of as well. Back onto the point. You go, Kenny, with the contest. Oh, dear. Oh, you okay. Does not strike twice this time. Here comes Envoy. And the round is done. Optic only needed one more chance at it, and they nail it. It is two I mean, to one. How, how do you pull that off, Ghosty? I think I don't know if he pulled off the vast nav just off spawn, but he was able to pick up two in the feed. So Ghosty somehow again heroics for Optic Texas. I don't know how he had the right gun for the job in that moment, but yeah, you will absolutely take that round. Only a final take, and they just jump on it. So another offensive round win, Optic keeping their chances alive. Ooh. I mean, look, they beat him before. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out what happens. Ghosty is two kills away from streaks as well. Let's see if he can get those off the rip. It looks like a very, very solid B hit now from the LA Thieves. They are able to quickly change course and fly over towards A. Nice work from Hoot. That nade is going to slow down the attack for now, but Octane's first blood. Two man stack onto B. Nice opener from the Thieves. Yeah, if nothing else, Thieves definitely won Hook stunned in that moment. So they hit <laughs> everything in the kitchen sink and a lot of pressure on B this time. No passes set up. There is no time wasted. Massive stack around the time. Hook ends up just throwing away his life. And now Envoy roaming over towards A. So it was Hook and Chassis that made the play over towards the A zone. Last go around. This time Envoy trying to take his turn, getting everybody in position, checking the obvious corners, getting the clearance on the zone, looking for the man by Snow, but Dashi delivers two, keeping his teammate with the pressure around A. Yeah, Envoy as well, keeping this place safe. This We call this restaurant, top and bottom sides of it, and he's got himself in this forward position. This allows his boys to flood through, but Hook is on the flank of all flanks. There's one, there's two. Lovely work out of the nuke. That's going to slow down the hit. Kenny's cruise. I'm not sure if this is going to do a whole lot. More just for information at this point. I mean, that was perfect time on the uh, Hook flank because I think Kenny's calling it in to try to set his teammates up. And if they had been able to say, hey, Hook is right behind you, that play gets stopped and LAPs would have a lot more pressure. But now from Optic, they are turtling around restaurant. Certainly a setup you can make work. A lot of players there for the chow. Whoa. Actually, is a, a big responsibility, but so far, so good. Kenny, he's gone for the reach out. Hook and Shotzi have made the A zone pretty safe. Draws now in it. Dash, he wins another big one. That's huge. Bruce, 23 and 18 for him right now. Outstanding work.
in the defense department. Well, if it's Octane on one side, that's going to be lights out. Dashy has to be there to match him. So he has been providing, especially so in this oh round. Dear. But oh dear. Shotzi gets caught. It's only three players left for Optic all on the bottom side of the map. And right now, LA Thieves putting that pressure on. <laughs> Thieves are on. Only one man for now, but it stops the clock. Kenny finds another kill. Who is desperately looking for a player who's just a little too eager to show their face in this tough situation. Kenny's cleaned out Ghosty as well. The stack is now on. Three players. Take care of Hoop. That's it. Wide open. That's a four-man stack. That'll get a single point captured in 11 seconds. A single segment in, yeah, whatever. The Thieves, though, get it done on Himmelmat Expo and take the lead here in the series. I mean, that, it, this map and the way that A-Zone works, it is a just like that kind of moment. Just a massive wipe on one side, and is he happy? Is he sad? That is Hook's normal game face. But on the flip side, LA Thieves ever so slightly more comfortable with that map edge. But another close one on Expo, but Octane and Draza, and especially so from Draza, really stepped up that time. Oh, man. Dude, all the previous stats, you know, the first time they met in the winner's bracket finals, Draza got... Choke slapped. He went on the flank, talked about it as well. Did not have a good showing. Yes, indeed, it was not much of a good showing from me either, but hey, we'll deal with that in a moment. There we go, though. LA Thieves. They are halfway to a championship here at Major Four. And what a showing from those boys there on Expo. And, you know, it's funny how things work out of like the best play we had in that entire game was, you know, Kenny Dolphin diving to contest the zone for his teammates to get the trades. And LA Thieves, that was the only round that they lost anyway. So uh, great work across the board. I mean, two offensive wins. That is not an easy thing to do. So go back and take a look at some of these highlights. And overall, certainly going to be lopsided towards LA. All four players positive. Oh, massively. Also, not to mention the insane save that Kenny managed to dive into quite literally to save that point. Beautiful work though. Defensively, both teams looking very sound. Definitely leaning towards more of an LA Thieves there in the scoreline, but Expo still relatively young here in the Call of Duty League. We're still learning all the tricks and secrets of it. A lot of fun so far though. Beautiful stuff here in our grand finals. I'd say you really had, you know, players on LA Thieves doing a nice job. Oh, here's a look at the dive, by the way. Just barely making it come. That is a sliver. I mean, you have to get that timing perfectly. And obviously, it doesn't result in the round win. But uh, even for the flip side, like, this is the moment where Ghosty's picking up, too. It was sort of the, you know, both of the SMGs on either team being the playmakers, getting the pressure in the restaurant, and, like, trying to keep those closer spawns for your team. I know Optic on defense, they lost two of the rounds because they were just having such a difficult time. Never able to really get that backstreet control. Really never able to effectively set up that spawn trap and pushing them back in the globe. So, uh, again, you're walking a tightrope. Rounds on offense can fall, as you pointed out, in 11 seconds. Like, it can just be out of control. And Optic never able to get the defensive stranglehold and get punished for it. 2-1 edge to LA, but now we go back miles to a fortress hardpoint. And this might be the most interesting map in the series because when Optic and LA played earlier, Optic had the option of playing on Albagger hardpoint. They chose Mercado instead. Maybe an easy decision for them to make until LA beat them. They were 9-0 with Ghosty, but I know on a bagger, they have been dominating teams. Like the past six games, they've 100 point club, three or four different squads. I think the closest game they've had is like 250 to 160. So they've destroyed teams on that map. They didn't want to square up with LA earlier on. Well, now we get to see how it's going to look here in the game number four. We also got to watch them uh, put phase in the body bag at their own major back in yes. major three. That was one of the most disgusting fortress uh, hard points we have seen and we might get another one today let's find out though la thieves are looking strong when it comes to respawns hard point's been sweet but as you said chance we're out of control and we're into the hard point if we're going uh you know if we're uh we, we're we're not a betting uh crew here but if we had to place a bet here chance are we leaning a bit more towards optic in this moment well, I certainly know that when I saw that Optic chose Mercado instead of Al Bagger, I was like, that feels like that might be a mistake. I trust LA Thieves a decent bit more against Optic on a map like Mercado comparatively. So if I had to lean in a direction, I would lean towards Optic. Again, they have just been too good on this map. And I don't know if they talked about it in player interviews or coaches interviews or anything like that of why they picked Mercado instead. But I know they haven't played it a lot through stage four because everyone's been banning it against them. So LA may be playing with fire, happy to allow it in twice. So certainly if they're three and oh against Optic, they are not fearful of the square up map. I was gonna say it is a square up map. Surely you are willing to throw down on 
your opponent's favoured pick. Let's see how it goes, though. It's Grand Finals. We are going to go the distance. Let's face it, ladies and gents. Jcap, multi-world champion, now coach of the LA Thieves. He has had a brilliant run since retiring. I believe in the Cold War season. Helping the LA Thieves get themselves a lot of success, including that 2022 World Championship. Optic, on the other hand, yet to hoist that World Champ trophy, yet to win a major this season. This could be their tournament. We'll find out. They've got a little ways to go yet. Let's see how the Fortress Hardpoint goes. Coming up next. And obviously for Optic being down in the Grand Finals, maybe think back to the previous major where they were able to get that final experience for the first time. I mean, it was Ghosty's first tournament in front of a crowd, in front of the Optic crowd as well. So certainly he has been learning a lot, but I would pay attention especially to that plus minus. Those two losses were from much earlier in the year from Optic. That plus 77 has been almost inflated from their past series. So Optic looked to dominate, but nice start from Draza. He's able to pick up two. Dashy, the instant response. You already know this one's about to be a battle. Yeah, this one's going good. We're going to see some four-way bombs in this one, I hope so. Optic are flooded through towards P2. The gallows here where Kenny's taking these fights. That is the power position we're looking for. Or well, the second hard point here on our background. Hook, they are cleaning house. Can Envoy find two? Oh my word, he's tagged up Dashy. He might better do this. Teamwork, helping him out. Dashy finally gets the kill. Optic retain control of the left-hand side of the map. Ooh, that's going to be a big two-piece oh, from Shotzi as well. I was going to say it is looking like perfection. So that is a decent bit of time that LA are able to get off the rib. But that is scrap time that is going to go to Optic. Oh, no. You have number five on the map, Ghosty, blocking the spawns, which means LA, they are going to be stuck in the right side. This is the spawn trap that is not fun to have to fight out of. And right now, this is Hook on a four. And he is out and about. Good luck trying to kill this man. Oh, this is going to be tough. Look at him go. He just finds a corner. Hell 3 gen. Nice play oh, out of Kenny there. Immediately trying to punch their way forward. Oh. The LA Thieves, they're getting through one kill at a time. And, they make and how did Octane things. get here, by the way? Uh, Octane's in the back. I don't know if he spawned exactly. there, if Optic messed up for just a moment, but there's the kill just to get Optic out of time for a brief moment. Shotzi by himself, but tagged up. So Octane an opportunity to make this mixy, but oh. with the craziness on the map, Optic held on, but just for a moment, Octane clearing house for his team. Wow, what a crazy string of moments there for the hard point. Now back over to it, 20 seconds to go. Optic Texas are in it. You'll look at the minimap now, far right hand side. That's where the next one's going to be. And Optic have got to kill their way through the LA Thieves to get anywhere near that statue. You just have to execute in this moment. That was a gift from Octane and maybe a gift oh, from a Ghosty. I don't know how he just killed Shotzi or what just exploded. And I was going to say maybe Shotzi ends up getting a closer spawn, but that is something I just simply do not understand. But what I do understand, this is a hill where you can get a full 60, and this is LA not collecting the time. Hook wins a big one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, this side of the map. It's very easy to hold on to, difficult to let go of, and we'll see how that affects the LA Thieves in just a moment. For now, though, don't let Dashi and Code get in. Oh dear, loses a big gunfight. Shotzi's found an opening. Kenny, though, plugs the hole and some. Nice stick out of Shotzi there, though. 30 seconds to go. And Octane. Oh, he is a pain in the ass from this position. He's going to die in a minute. Oh, no, maybe not. But this is a great spot to be in for the LA Thieves. Yeah, you see how many players on Optic you just drag back just to look for him to clear him out. So, I mean, him, just his presence alone buys you that time for free. And his presence lets his teammates get out. So, Kenny picking up the two-piece going through gate. Looking like he's still going to end up with a bad spawn. So, going to have to spawn up and take another hike across the map. But Octane up top is doing everything he can to keep his teammates close. Man, he is living in this part of the fortress. Here comes the squad into the cannon's hard point. We now go. Shotzi from top rails. Tickled, but not taken care of. Ghosty from down lows. Three clean in the feed. Make it all four. Wonderful work there out of Optic Texas. That's their point, and that's their lead. And you had one massive hill from LA, but now you're back sort of towards the blender. Hook again, just behind you, worried about getting shot in the back. Shots, he's going to shoot you in the front, but spawns all over the place. I think Octane got through, but Optic left open sort of the P1 street spawn. So LA in the back, how well do you handle the craziness? Not a problem at all for Optic Texas. They completely lock it down. Oh, Hook, that's a four spree. Looking for five, gets it. Looking for six around the corner as the nuke is starting to roam here across Fortress. The lead growing ever bigger as well for Optic Texas. What a string of plays. 
they might not be blocking the spawns, but they are still reading them and picking up pieces. Hook's gonna fall off his spree, but maybe just to kick Shotzi's off, but no, Octane will be there to shut him down. Nice response of a hill there from Optic Texas. LA desperate to get one of their O's, and a nice little start. You have Hook just flying out for the chow, but the trade's always right now in favor of LA. This is the blacksmith hard point. It is an ugly one. My God, Ghosty somehow gets in, wins that fight, traded out. The rest of the LA Thieves now battling, desperately trying to get out of that far right hand side of the map. Can they get close enough? Hook's going to be the guardsman on the door here. 25 seconds remain on this point, and once again, Optic Texas amidst the chaos. They are the ones thriving. Trying to drown them out, in all honesty. LA again, the amount of times they have just been stuck in a, a weird spawn or trying to get out of gate. Ghosty's going to catch quite a few players off the cross, but that's just another hill where Optic run the score up just a little bit more. Going to be about a 50 point game after the first set of rotations, but LA, these are the important gunfights. You need those left side spawns, but Shotzi up top rails, almost impossible to weed out. So hard to read. The Spectral Slayer of Bagra. 130. No one in the point just yet. As we go back to P1, second set of hard points now upon us. Hook's going to be the first man in the game to drop himself into it the second time round. He hasn't got an idea. Oh, he does now. Octane was there. Better late than never to pick up that kill and once again run in the scoreline optic. Oh, and as soon as number six spawns there, everyone else on Optic can almost turn around. But you have a, a nice big one there from Envoy just to get Hook out of time. But then everybody else on Optic just wipes the feed. So you're still spawning most of LA where you want them to. But not easy to manage, but it's still good time being collected. LA right now just struggling to handle Texas. They have been running rampant on the map. I mean, this is the hardest thing to do here on Fortress is to win every single crazy individual gunfight while maintaining map control, so your boys are spawning where you want them to. And right now, Optic Texas are doing both. I, there's just no room to breathe. Like any time like a gifted spawn seems to come through from LA, Optic just read it. They literally have presence almost everywhere on the map. This is Optic in their finest form right now at Hardpoint. They are wheeling and dealing. Well, they're wheeling and dealing, and I'm sure everyone at home wants to hear what they sound like. Well, good news, folks. We're going for a listen in, Optic Texas. Stay, stay down, Dan. Stay down. Yeah, we're, we're, so top tree. So top tree. Stay, stay, stay. Open, open, one 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 open, watch out. Open, watch out. Open, watch out. Open, watch out. Close, close, close. close. Yeah, another one. P1 draws. P1 draws. We're missing on We're missing on boy. He's gay. He's gay. Draws her. We're missing on boy. Okay, yo, you can go, Dan. What is Kenny, by the way? Get this time. Get this time. When is he in front of you guys? He's in the middle. They have to hit older. Like, probably close urban. I don't see nothing close, nothing close, by the way. Make sure they just hack. Nothing open, I'm trying cannon, nothing cannon. One's pushing out a P1, by the way. I don't see him, I don't see him. He could have backed up bench or something, or bottom maps. We could be stable. Okay, yeah, let's break the gate. Let's break the gate. Come get with me. Yo, listen, last time he played the right side. Just heads up. Alright, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, ready? Got it. Stop right, stop right. You're behind the box, really. Behind the box, really. Nice. I'll time that peeking. Keep trading. I'll time that peeking. I'll time that peeking. I'll time that peeking. Behind the pool, watch out. Behind the pool, watch out. Another guy's watch out of time. There's two on time. Yeah, yeah, back pool, back pool. Back pool, back pool, watch out, back pool, watch out. This is running large, running large. Yo, gate time, last two, gate. No, no, bottom maps in time, bottom maps, bottom maps. Bottom maps, bottom maps, Octane. He's going out middle, I think. Or he's going top maps, I think. Yeah, top back, top back. We're good, yeah, for sure he's on a four. He's on a four. They're gonna push out front, they're gonna push out front. I saw not, I spawned front. More maps, maps then, maps then. Oh, he's top circle, top circle. Hey Charles, what a total difference there from the comms. We heard them on Hydro, LA Thieves, they were the ones who sounded great there. This time round, Optic Texas, they know exactly what to do. They, ha they had the game plan down, how to approach a difficult hard point, trying to make the break happen. Beautiful comms, and look at the score. And comms are great, and hey, maybe that's the only hill Optic had struggled on, and that is where LA had gotten most of their time, but every single other hill Optic had been locking it down. Shotzi for two, oh Hook for the next, get the clearance, that SMG duo flying and frying. They can do no wrong, and goes to be cheeky, standing on top of the door, doing his job. <laughs> that man has two minutes inside the hill. He's got a lot of time in the hill, and Hook has a lot of kills. 26 and 80, 24 and 70 from Tashi. Everyone's frying. Optic are 20 points from the win and 20 points from tying up the finals. I mean, this is just, Optic are impossible to keep up with on this map is what it looks like. It is the SMGs just flying around. The timing's great. So many spots they get in. Just incredibly annoying. You find an opportunity to flank. It doesn't matter. You get gunned down. Welcome to Al Bagra. It is Optics. Another 
dominant performance. Way hey, we've got a finals on our hands, folks. Blow for blow, these two titans exchange maps. Lovely work there from Optic. Not too many signs of life there on Fortress Hardpoint from the LA Thieves chance. Optic looking incredibly comfortable. We're all tied up two to two. And it's one of those maps where like you pay attention to the minimap and I feel like Optic aren't sort of like that perfectly structured team of they're always getting the spawns they want. They're always blocking exactly what they want and like manipulating it perfectly well. But what Optic are phenomenal at are reading all of the spawns. So it might be chaotic and crazy, but they thrive in that environment. And I'd have to imagine on the flip side for LA, they like spawn up and go, huh, I wasn't expecting to spawn here. Wait, what do I do? Boom, who shoots you in the back? And it's just, it's almost overwhelming. It doesn't look like a fun experience to deal with Optic <laughs> at all. I mean, again, it's just another dominant performance. It's Ghosty just being the hill kid and the absolute super soaker. I mean, Dashy got out great damage, but it felt like Hook and Chatsy were just taking turns, picking up pieces. So just an absurd performance from Optic. That is why when you see them on Outbagger, if you're an Optic fan, oh, you're feeling safe. We're getting a bit of a La Ooh La Ooh series. Ooh La La would have been maybe a bit more interesting on the sounds. But for now, we say goodbye to Fortress Hydro. We say goodbye to Hotel. We now go to a double dose of El Asilo. That is Search and Destroy and Control. A Fortress S&D showdown. We have to go to the very distance in this Grand Finals. Are you shaking your head, Charles, because you don't think it's going to happen? Well, we'll find out. To El Asilo, we now descend, folks, into literal madness. This one's about to get crazy. Don't go too far. We'll be right back.
The Call of Duty League is presented by the GMC Hummer EV Pickup, the world's first all-electric super truck, and upgrade your game with a scuff, the official controller of the CDL. Whether you're watching here on the Call of Duty League main channel, you're watching Scumps Watch Party, actually any three of those lads on the couch, or you're watching Zoomers or the many, many more across the internet, whether you're on Twitch or whether you're on YouTube, we appreciate you folks. We hope you're enjoying the show. <laughs> we know some folks are a little more focused than others, boys. Jesus, get off your phones. We've got some matches to play. Yep. You know, that. I feel like the uh, the flank are probably having a blast. The optic watch part, these guys might be stressed out. I know watching is always said to be more stressful than even playing. So you can only imagine what they're going through. Yeah, really. Well, we can only imagine, Chance. Thank God. I'm happy to be sat here enjoying the action. The fist bumps are done. JP is left optic. That means Caps left the thieves. That means it's time to get into our next match. That last Bagra hardpoint was such a decisive and ferocious display from Optic Texas. They've got to be feeling good, but now we change pace and we change speed dramatically. LSC low, search and destroy. Here we go. And such a fun one to play. Obviously, Shotzi able to ball out a bunch of dead silence plays he was connecting with on Hotel. And make no mistake, this is another map that he can absolutely turn into his playground, but it'll be different dynamics all over the place. It'll be Dashy at some point, likely to pull out the snipe. Octane at least one round, likely to do the same. So all about those adjustments, all about those nades. They don't connect from Optic just yet, but Round one, no dead silence, no trophy, but wide open doors. Shotzi, yeah, make sure you close them, keep it nice and secure. Yeah, the first round's always quite a spicy one. I don't know, dead silence or not, he's going for the old aim walk, the ADS stroll down that long street. Ghosty may get a first blood, but you can bet Envoy looking to level it up in just a moment. And there it is, 3v3. Uh, that's also bombed down on the outside of the map, so a bit of a strange situation that Optic now have to deal with because they don't have the bomb for these gunfights, but they are taking the gunfights and they got a 2v2. Nice reads from Kenny, though. Gives himself the man advantaged odds. Dash eat, no dead silence. That is a far drop. I don't know if they heard him, but 35 seconds left. He's going to have to swing all the way around the map if he wants to find that bomb, but if he's playing like this, might be looking for some kills first. But he's got 30 seconds to find those kills first. Looking for the bomb. Envoy. It's close to it. Kenny. Might have seen him. There we go. Thieves now moving into attack. Dashy though. Guns up. Ready for it. Catches one. Ooh. But not the second. Envoy wins the battle. Thieves take the round. Yeah, that is an aggressive play call from that SMG duo towards the end for LA Thieves. I mean, time is on their side. The bomb was down. They could have just doubled up in sight after no one dashes outside, but they wanted the child. They took it. And by God, I suppose they got it. Round number one on board. And I mean, again, we talk about some of those meticulous plays that Envoy likes to make. No dead silence. Hits the full flank straight off the rip. So uh, a strange one to be sure, but he's very happy to catch him off guard. Very quick game pause here. We'll be getting back into this one ASAP. Oh yeah, Chance, you mentioned the call there from Kenny. I've seen him, he's got to kick his ass. Flyer in that corner and the gun's up ready for the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff though, man. What a fight from all those players. Snipes up now from Dashy, a very, very old adaptation and a change here early on in the LSC though. First blood though goes to Draza. And Andraza is just a distraction, right? So number seven, you have Dashy with the snipe wrapping back. It looks like Ghosty debating about following suit, but I think they got the call out from Hook. Nope, nothing's pushed through the field. I think the play's still at A. So Optic have read this correctly, but there's still a man down. I think Dashy saw that player on top of pool table. Gonna bring their snipe up towards B from O. Kenny though brings the fight. And he's got dead silence still, so he is flying. Octane gets another. Dashy now, 1v4. I'd say good luck, but at this point in time, the round is as done as it possibly could be. Wait a minute. Oh, oh my god, what a shot! The round goes to the thieves. But that man hit a sweet one there. He hits ridiculous shots like that. He's been doing it his whole career. He does them in pro matches. This is grand finals. Yeah, Dashy is simply built different. Make no mistake about it. But LA Thieves also two rounds up. Another perfect play call. Able to get the first blood, draws him making moves and 
Holy. Yeah, no, that's ungodly. Yeah, that's a really nice shot. If I'm dashing, I'm never pulling out a pistol. I don't care what the situation. I'm sniping reason. No, I've, no, I know. I'm gonna be there, man. Round three. So far, brilliant stuff from the LA Thieves shots. He says, no thanks, guys. Nah, bruh. We're gonna take the A bomb site. Full control of it. Draza. He's dipped. There is going to be a slight contest here, but this is not over yet. Dashy, though, lovely work. Tags are in, trades are out. Oh, here comes the fight. Octane, one HP. Runs for his life. Dead silence. LaRue in the 1v3, and he has bought himself more than a lifeline here. And I like the repositioning with Deddy. That's the good news. Bad news is, I mean, doubled up in sight. One with the Vasnev. One with a uh, attack 56. Nearly impossible to break down. If you get a cheeky kill through a wall, maybe there's hope, but you're just gonna get set up to get traded in a nice little kill box. Crossfire's covered in optic. Very quick bounce back round. No time wasted at all. Send Shotzi in, go and hunt down that first blood. And as soon as they got control of that bomb site, never look back. Yeah. Octane, not known for his search and destroy clutch ability in a sort of 1vx situation. But that doesn't mean we're not going to gas him and let him try. Good round, though, from Optic there. They get on the board finally, Chance. Two to one. Hey, you said it, not me. I did say it, and I'll say it again. again. Octane, <laughs> not no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That poor guy. Here we go. <laughs> we'll stick on board with him. He don't need a clutch, but he loves the first blood, and that assault rifle is beautiful. Yeah, just lock down a portion of the map and give those comms to your teammates and that is where octane does shine in the comms department quick flank though from shotzi guess who's there to read it the ar's on the wings octane and draza keeping things locked down bomb is planted hook forced to make a play yeah he's gonna make something happen here though you have to get off the uh, donut oh and he'll stay on it for now that was me just checking everyone's pulses in this 4v2 and unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do, but nice little start, but 20 seconds on the clock, and yeah, the trade's coming through instantaneously. Solid round from LA Thieves. Played a little bit slow on the outer wing. Say, hey, a couple guys on the flip side for Optic. They have dead silence. Might try to make a play. Let's just play some cheeky spots in our spawn and make sure we keep it under lock and key. So LA Thieves play call on point. They deliver another offensive round. 3-1 advantage. It's nice to have. A long way to go. The searches are always going to be nail biters between these two teams. Hard points controls seem a little more cut and dry. This is really where the magic's going to happen in this series. We'll see if Hoot can't get off that donut. Still bombing hand, optic on attack. If they can't get a plant down at A, easier said than done though. Thieves are moving in. There's the chow. First blood for Dashy. Love to see that if you're an optic fan. Starting things off right. Hasn't gone for the bomb plant yet. Kenny on the wings, though, with the dead silence play. A couple players to deal with it. He's going to handle it. Evens up the odds. Shotzi's going to fall, and they know Dash is in the spawn. So you have these two players isolated. One's in the spawn. One's on bomb. You take care of the bomb planter. Leaves Dash in a one versus three. Nice nade. Octane's on it. On the defuse. No one's going to be there in time. Flying forward. It's 4-1. Bomb defused. Thieves round. And that is just an insanely quick round as well. You think the first blood's going to pay off from Optic, but as soon as Kenny backs down Dashy and then wins a ridiculous gunfight against Ghosty as well, really opens things up because, I mean, you know, these play calls are never easy to make because things are happening so fast. It's always chaotic, but you have two players isolated. The bomb gets planted. You know where both of them are. You kill the guy off bomb. The round just falls into your lap. So 4-1 edge, and as you pointed out with the skirt, who... Still sitting on a donut. Yes. We're going nuts for donuts here in the CDL. Uh, Ghosty, he has been pressured. Massively dashy, unable to catch the player on the cross. That would have been a wonderful shot, but not enough to get it done. And now the LA Thieves, man advantage. On the approach towards the bomb site, Shotzi, though. This is where he wants to be, up close and personal. And he is causing problems. Oh, the Thieves, so they've lined up. They don't get the kill. The one boy manages to stay alive. And now it's a 4v2. 4v1, Hook. Here we go, mate. Could he go from 0 and 4 to 4 and 4 in this round? Good luck. 
And in a situation like this, honestly, Miles, I don't know what you do. I, there is no <laughs> game plan. I, like, there's just no way. Like, you have to Look clear at out back cliff. You, like, it's, it's literally impossible. I love the shots. There's one. 25 seconds. Full pockets to deal with this fight as well, but lovely work out of the LA Thieves. No way in hell they give up that kind of advantage. Not even a hook. And, you know... He's not amused. On one side, I, at the very, not amused, but at least he got off the donut. I know it's been said a lot by players. As soon as you get that first kill, you feel a little bit better. Fortunately, uh, down 5-1. So that's going to be a massive problem. And LA Thieves have been making plays on every side of the map. Draza, again, this time just sprinting upfield, finds a first blood. So they'll play it passive and find the kills. They'll play it aggressive. Uh, they're reading the dead silence plays on Optic very well. Obviously, 5-1. I mean, that's... Not completely insurmountable, but I think has a long way to go. Hey, <laughs> we're not to curse it, but we've been here before. Five to one. Thieves with an overwhelming advantage doesn't mean it's over yet. And this is big out of on boy. Oh, he's in. He's been tagged. And this could get real ugly or he could stay alive. No, ghosty. Nice two piece from him on the round. That's a nice advantage for Optic Texas. Yeah, do you check your corners though? Because Kenny was able to get into a decent position, but if he gets red, Kenny's going to get traded. And yeah, he gets red. Hook there to take him down. And now another opportunity for Octane in one of the 1Vs. And does it last long? Shotzi there to hunt him down. Another one on board. 5 2. But for Optic, still a long way to go. But I know for Optic, Texas, Ghosty has pulled off heroics in the past and got a big two in that round. Final play calls just before we get into this next one. This is not over yet. What have Ghosty and the boys got up their sleeves? The LA Thieves have built themselves an incredibly comfortable bed to lie in now with a 5-2 to two lead. But one round at a time. Let's see what Optic do now. They're on defense. Uh, Going to be another patient round as well, right? It's the same sort of setup. You have Octane and Draza, the ARs on the wings of the map. Playing a little bit slow, let the SMGs go to work, but you see what Hook and Shotzi are doing. No nades, no tax out of any of the players on LA. Thieves got to be very careful. Shotzi, I'm assuming, can see him. Yeah, cheeky little spot right there for the first blood. Oh yeah, Kenny just gets a little too ambitious, a little too eager to see what's going on in there, and he was not welcome. And advantage up to Texas. An envoy from this position is dangerous if they come into the room with him, but at range, he's not going to be of much use. He has the bomb, and we are thinking about that B-bomb site. Draz is now sending out the feelers, just making sure that no one's home. Here we go. That B site has been cleared out, so an opportunity to get the bomb planned, but the longer you take, the more time player like Shotzi has to go on the flank. Shotzi just popped dead silent, so he's about to clear out a good chunk of this map and feed the intel to his teammates. So I think they're happy to give up this bomb plane because they got everybody surrounded. Trotty does get picked. It'd be a 2v3 attempt here for Thieves. Advantage though. Optic Texas in the manpower. Can they get forward? Hook's making his way through mid. Dashi manages to take care of one. Envoy, the last man alive. And he's in an off angle. And he has been red. He is now dead. And that bomb will be safely disarmed. Another round. Optic Texas. Okay. From 5 1 to 5 3. In 5-3, arguably the most dangerous lead to have. Make no mistake, a long way from being over, and Optic played that round perfectly. Shotzi has a nice little angle to get that first blood on Kenny, and then as soon as that kill comes through, no mistakes being made. I mean, Shotzi waits a year and a half before he makes the dead silence play, and even though he gets picked off, still keep the map nice and secure. that will be two in a row from Optic. We'll see what they do on the attack. And you're just waiting. I mean, like, Dashi snipe that first time we saw him use it. Is he going to pull that out again? Or are we going to stick to what's been working right now for Optic Texas on defense? They play a little slower. They let the thieves make the first moves. They punish them for it. This time round, we have hit the go button. Kenny's got eyes on. The stun lands. The frag does not. It's Hook. I don't know what he's doing. What the... All right, he's Which back. Which gameplay in the league. Crazy, man. Look at that movement. <laughs> LA Thieves have positioned themselves fantastically, though, to deal with this hit from Optic Texas. Again, we are waiting for the pick. Dashi has shown himself. That's not going to do too much. 
Kenny has abandoned sight. Well, maybe not for a moment, but at this point in time, you're running out of it. I'll tick. Oh, it's in. Uh oh. Nice first blood. I was going to say, they're setting up for that double child right there. So, John had a, a big moment, but Kenny has a big one as well. Can't quite hit those secondary shots in your shots. He pulled that off with the Vaznev, which, yep, that's exactly what... Oh, maybe not. Oh, well, Whatever he gun he has, he had the right one for the job. He's got 25 seconds. His gun be damned. Wait, the read, though. Envoy flies out. Can Ghosty get the trade quick? He's got to try and find something happen here. Still has Deddy. It's a 2v2 dash. He's now coming over to help out. He has been read and taken care of by Octane. Oh, no! It's a throw down to the pool hall, and now it's a 1v1. 10 seconds. Ghosty can get this bomb down, potentially. He has to make the choice, though. Do I plant, or do I go for the fight? Here comes the roof for the clutch. Will he get it? No! Ghosty wins it! And it's another round for Optic. And that, oof, okay, Miles, I don't know if you jinxed Octane in this one talking about the 1Vs, but that is a... Ghosty has a 2% chance of winning that round, even just when they're in the two versus two. He gets his final kill with, I think, maybe 14 seconds on the clock. His teammate dies. Octane knows exactly where he is. He has zero time to go and plant. And the only play Ghosty could possibly make is the one he makes, and that is now three in a row for Optic Texas. I'm just saying, I feel bad for the Jinx if that's what the case is, but for now, there is a cruise missile, and it oh, has the go. LA Thieves name written all over it. Ghosty, call it on the inside, or you might try to bend it. Impact, no joy, Envoy First Blood. Oh, what a catch that is as well. Yeah, I think Shotzi trying to make a dead silence play on the wing of the map with the information, but as soon as Shotzi falls, this is a very difficult one to clutch. And Hook, his dead silence is about to wear off, so that is a lot of value just wasted. The patience for LA Thieves is paying off. Draza playing his deep spawn. That red silhouette in front of us, he could cause a massive problem for Hook in a moment. If he checks this bench, Octane finds Dashi. Bombs being planted now as Hook has to make a move. He's never going to read Draza behind him. There's Draza. Last man up, Ghosty. What a clutch it was last round. Can he do it now? 1v4. The answer is no. There's a battle of El Asilo. At least in the search and destroy has come to a close. The Thieves take the lead. And with that, it is tournament point. Here we go. Map point now for LA Thieves back again in a grand finals against the wall from Optic Texas. That was a hell of a game, honestly, from both teams, but that 5-1 lead that LA built up just a little too much. So many of their rounds, I feel like on offense, they just turtled up and spawn and just waited for someone to make a mistake. And obviously in that final round, Shotzi over commits a few rounds before. I think Shotzi and Hook almost taking turns, getting picked apart. So LA, the patience pays off on El Silo. I think Thieves were very happy for that pacing swish compared to the Aldagra. Oh my god, man. What a map. Six to four. El Asilo. Thieves take the lead. If they can win the next El Asilo, they will be crowned champions here at Major Four. Optic, it's time to bounce back. Let's have a look at the highlights. And credit to Draza as well. Had four first bloods and I think this one round was another one where he might have collected and I'd say a decent start early on. Had a, a lot of tags coming through and whatnot. You absolutely cursed him. If any of the 1v clutches, here was a 1v3 he was left <laughs> in. We're unfortunate, not able to deliver. Possibly another highlight is going to be the ghosty 1v1 he had against Octane, where Octane, unfortunately, not able to deliver. But curse or no curse, LA obviously happy for the win. But it really has been nothing but a back and forth series. It has been LA and Optic taking turns blow for blow. So Optic looking repositioned back on El Asilo for the control. Now, we got a fantastic stat here that the last two mages have finished on an El Asilo in exactly the same circumstances. If that's to be the case, the LA Thieves have got to go absolutely wild here. We'll see what happens though. I say, man, clutch on clutch. Great stuff out of Optic. Definitely not out of the running. That was a tough, tough map. And kudos once again to Draza in that final round. Those kills in the back line absolutely saved the squad. One more is all they need. Joshua. <laughs>
I would honestly just, you know, take it the time to give even more credit to Ghosty, right? Because obviously LA is with the result, but that's four world champions across the board on a team with a great deal of chemistry. Ghosty's the guy that has made making some heroic plays for Optic. Like even in these moments, he goes on the six spree in that S and D is leading the charge, is having a 1v1. Again, a literal world champion in his second major ever at the pro level. So get his two for two at major tournaments making it to this point, but Obviously, right now, back against the wall, similar spot to what they had at the Texas Major. They were playing against Toronto. See if that experience is going to help them out. As you pointed out, the exact same map where it ended last time, trying to make amends. Ooh, we are sweating. Optic Texas now going to win this LSC low control to force that final map, that Fortress Search and Destroy. They can do it. And the same thing for the Thieves. This is going to be a very, very tough game of control. Composure is going to be key here. The play calls on Elisilo in control. One mistake. And the game or the round is done. And you do not have any more lives to spare here for your optic. And composure is certainly something that neither one of these teams lack in these moments. So clutch moments have always been out and about well here's a fun one again we are truly in the presence of greatness in this grand finals this is the tournament wins between everyone here in our grand finals octane leading the charge there with eight wins kenny in second place at seven shotzi and hoop five apiece four for envoy two for dashi two for draza and what a first tournament win this would be for ghosty his first appearance in the pro scene of course that lan back in up major three second place finish there it's either a second or a first place right here and now. And I tell you what, what an unbelievable tournament it would be from him. It has been an outstanding addition to the Optic roster chance. This sort of new era of that green team has been very, very solid so far. A victory here. Woo! Sky's the limit. Here we go, though. LSC low control. Match point, LA Thieves. And just to throw in a quick tag before we get this map going, uh, you also have Octane and Kenny as a duo against Optic on LAN, 10 and 3 all time. Back since when they were teaming together in Black Ops 4. So uh, they do love the matchup. They are happy to square up against the green wall. They have had a great deal of success and one map away to adding another tournament win under their belt. Deep defense there from Thieves. Shotzi may be in on A. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a big win. Yeah, Draza. Guns up. A little more worried now. Octane's coming to back him up and help things go forward. Huge three-piece out of LaRue. I think managed to find a kill of his own. Just make sure that not all of them drop. Yeah, Octane absolutely just locking down that side of the map. And Octane will have another opportunity to do the exact same thing. I think he was met by a bunch of grenades, as is Hoop. But Hook literally shoots nukes. Disgusting. Still keeping the capture on A though. Shossi right back at it. Not wasting any time. A one life separation for now. Big work there. The first segment done. Ghosty moving forward. You've got the prime set up to capture A now for Optic. You just have to survive this next wave of kills. And Octane somehow finds one over to Shossi. Dashi with a covering fire from upstairs. There's no one there to contest it. Lovely work out of Optic, but we're not done yet. Final segment to go. Oh, and yeah, if you're thinking about the contest, who goes in for the kill? And now Hook Wait makes minute. it out. He is one shot. If you're Thieves, you want to hunt this man down. Do not want him to heal. He has found himself a corner. This is an opportunity for Hook to make a big play. He's got shots now right behind him. Oh Ghosty finding kills. Hook with the next pick and clearance towards B. Somehow manages to stay alive. And now, like that, with precision of a scalpel, they've cut through. Shotzi unable Ooh. to win that fight, but that's fine. The boys are now managed to make their way on towards that B zone. The capture now begins. And this is uh, LA Thieves. If Octane can win a gunfight like that, you want to be quick on the response. Only a single trophy, but a little bit distant. Move back in his home. He's playing a cheeky little corner, and they're going to win it all. Everybody wins their gunfight. Kenny, last man standing. If you're Optic, just hop the point. Trying to stack this one. Maybe Hook still playing for the kills. Here comes the counterattack. Kenny through the smoke. No problem. Dash, he's got it. Three members now of the Thieves trying to scramble forward. Second segment and be done. You're making this look great if you're Optic, but it's not over yet. Dash, you got to stay alive. Gets one kill out of it. Big wins from Shotzi. Gets two. And that's the point. Wow, what a round.
Oh, and shout out to Hook. He didn't want to hop the point and help out his team because he wanted Shasi to pop off towards the end to get the big two piece with the tack. But um, that is a round where you have this moment from Octane, by the way, where he picks up a big three and you basically get zero map control off of it for LA. And Optic are immediately back to the A zone uh, and hop on it in zero time wasted. And I would say if Octane doesn't win the gunfight against Shotzi on like the back cliff side of the map, Optic win that round even faster. But they got put in position. Hook, as soon as his life was alive, back towards where the bomb side is, uh, simply never looked back. That is a beautiful first round. Wow. Very similar looks here from Optic on defense. Kenny, the first man in. He's bound to be a problem. That's a nice nade. Trophy. Oh, wow. And Shotzi stays way safe. Nice turn there from Envoy. Not enough damage, though. An unfortunate team kill and an ugly look. The Thieves, they have been stunned and they have been held back at A. For a team that ordinarily has some of the best, if not the best, comms in the game. Little mishap right there and making mistakes in grand finals is not the time to do it. You don't want to open any door right now from Optic. And even if you're just looking at the kills, one in six from Draza, one in seven from Envoy. And Kenny has only now just collected his third. Teams have a, a hole they need to dig themselves out of. And if you're digging in a hole, you're only going down. Nice. Right, this is great work out of Kenny. Though. There's two, now a three spree. Okay. He's had dead silence for as long as I can remember. Still roaming silently across the map. Onto the B zone we now go. It's going to be Octane making a slow capture. Kenny now looking to cut the reinforcements off, but the timing might be a little bit funky. We'll see, though. Gets one, the four spree. A is still safe as well, so Thieves complete and total map control. And right now, I think they're almost like sort of hardcore playing for kills. I mean, Kenny's going to be roaming. It's only going to be Draza standing on the A zone, but they still have presence on the map in a couple different places for LA. Kenny keeping this under lock and key, waiting for the timing on the flank. There it is. Has attack a player in the back and not an easy gunfight to win. He's going against two, but certainly has the right gun for the job and there for the fry, man. There's the cruise. It's the cruise. That's the A zone gone. One minute 36 on the clock. Can he finally taken care of, but the damage has been done. There's two segments left to be. There's so much pressure on party. This is three players on LA. They're going to be working the flank. That is the worst time possible. The hook runs straight into death. You do get traded, but LA Thieves players, a couple down low, all get picked apart. Optic now able to stabilize. Now you just set up the defense. Get posted up. Ghosty might be able to catch one here. Kenny it's not through. Nice kill there from Kenny. Get him going forward. Hook's left party has been spotted as well. So, Kenny, how many kills can you get from this position? The more the merrier. Here comes the rest of the Thieves. Envoy's there to help out. Two-man stack. Dashing on the quick reposition. Scrounging now to try to get in a position. No one there, actually. Oh, here we go. Kenny on the cross. Can't get two out of it. Dashing oh. away. Brought down as well. Second segment gone. I, I mean, you look, you pray for a red dot, but also your headset has to be on. And Kenny might finally get rooted out. We still have Draza on the point. Two directions to look in. The support maybe not quite there, but for Optic, got to fly towards it. Shotzi going to deliver oh and my. at least back Draza down. Optic survive for a little bit longer. No one's on B zone, though, so you are not draining the progress. This is a dangerous position to be in. We're walking the tightrope right now, Optic. One or two players get on it. Ooh, that would have been it. That's trouble. 30 seconds to go. Right, nice angle from Octane. Good lord. What a way to kick this sort of salvo off. And now he's getting damaged in dashy top AC. Kenny's on the flank. Kenny's going to have a free one in just a moment. Or he's going to get caught. The reads from Shotzi on point. Optic always handle those moments well. There's 15 seconds to go. That's a little bit of time to get across the map now. If Envoy can find a few kills. Takes care of one. There's the contest. He's in. Stops the clock at 9.9. .9. It's open again. Here come the reinforcements, though. Dash, he goes huge. That tack worth its weight in gold. Can Octane stay alive? The capture's still going. The stack. It's all down to Shotzi. He wins one. He gets traded out, and that should be the round. Wow. What a play. As both teams. All it takes is a matter of seconds, and the rounds come tumbling down around them. I mean, Quavo Kenny right there in his finest form. Look at that. Octane holding one pre -aim. Kenny in the meantime, dancing around the map, picking up pieces. A fantastic life towards the end. The big two kills and the bait towards the end. And LA Thieves had to work to get that round. I mean, they were in prime position in a few different spots, but 
as is typical between these two teams in absolute battle just to make things happen. I mean, Dash, he was able to win some ridiculous gunfights, but all squared away at one to one. Tied up his optic, now back on the attack. Optic have been a little bit more successful on the attack towards A in these opening hits. We'll see if this will be another one. Kenny's first blood helps. Chassis, though, this dead silence flank, which has been read and dealt wow. with. I have no idea how Kenny won that. I mean, that is awareness on point as well, just to turn around and be prepared for that type of situation, but not prepared for this. Who not going to get the trade? He can't connect in the teamwork a little too clean. Luke 11 and 13. A solid game so far, but not a fun moment as LA Thieves are getting all the kills. They haven't died in this round. It is 30 to 22 in lives. This has literally been perfection. Finally, Optic get some sort of an opening. If you have Envoy in your base, you're expecting to get shot in the back, but Hook flying right now and frying. And that's just great game awareness there for Hook. He's on the A zone. The sole man. Now he's done. Over to Shossi. Managing to get in here, Draza. He's on the cleanup towards A. Ghosty's making his way towards the A zone now also, just not willing to give up these positions because again, the LA Thieves have played this defensive round so well. There's 36 seconds left. One segment are going to be, this is the sign of life you needed for Optic. Oh, they're picking players apart as well. Octane on the flank, the only player to sort of soften up the push, but who there with attack 56, able to gun him down. Now for LA, you're going to be forced to flood through the front. It's getting red. The challenges are coming through. Does Kenny get traded? Dashi is there, but Kenny there to gun him down. Keeping LA in the mix. This has been an AR fest for both sides, but for Oppen, you are so far down on live. So down 20 seconds though, not over yet. They could get themselves in towards A, but Ghosty is being pummeled. He has been destroyed, busted by Envoy. As Dashi tries to creep forward, but Kenny's still in the back line as he's having one hell of a map so far. Final 10 seconds, Shotzi now. On the A capture. Can he stay alive for as long as possible? Help the squad out. No, oh, there it is. The collapse from the thieves. They're all over it like a rack. And this is like just impossible to get past. Uh, every single player at LA Thieves at different points is rocking attack 56. These long gunfights. Well, if they're long, they're great. 1.2, it's 0.8 on the clock. You know where they are. The stack is in it, opt to get it in the nick of time, but still it is eight lives. It is Draza tagging everybody up. The trades are through. The tag dominance right now from LA Thieves has been so tough to deal with. Vaz may have been the uh, weapon of choice for many players, but right now the tag reigns supreme here on LA Silo. Kenny, another kill, 40 seconds to go. Chelsea opens it up. You're able to get over towards the A zone, ASAP. Optic final lives now spent. You got to take your time to make this push perfect, but time is low. Envoy's behind you. Envoy there to gun you down. Man had a slow start. Well, there's a cruise missile or not even a cruise. He went on a six spree. Maybe he got team killed at some point, but goes on a tear towards the end. A dominant round for LA Thieves. A round away from being crowned champion. I know the rest of the league is paying attention. I think end of year Kenny might be a real phenomenon. Well, it was certainly a phenomenon towards the end of the Vanguard season. And history is slowly but surely repeating itself here. The flank is all giggles and having a good time, but it is serious business here on the main stage. The LA Thieves are now one round away from victory. <laughs> Maybe a couple extra Vaznevs and, and this go around for the attack. Met with a bunch of nades. Kenny dancing in the player cam, dancing in game, but his teammates getting all the kills. Solid opening break, and this is a B hit. You have three players already capturing this B zone. Straight on it. That's an early stack. That's a powerful one indeed. The first segment gone, the second on its way out. Ghosty, you now have to fly. Shots, he finds at least one off the point, so we stop the progress for a moment. Kenny, though. Continues his reign of terror across El Asilo, as does Envoy. Back onto it we go to finish what they started. They're just catching all the timings, man. You have Optic players just sprinting into death. That is a B zone capture early on. That is two minutes and eight seconds to capture A. An easier zone to grab. You have Dashi in the radio tower. You have a sort of spread set up for Optic. They're going to have to be on point or LA Thieves. They're going to get this tournament. Kenny has a cruise missile to deal with Dashi in this kind of position, but that trophy is going to help out quite a bit. Uh oh, on boy. Uh, time to reload. Here comes Shotzi and Dashi to the feed. Optic. They simply must hold the line here. One minute 40 on the clock. And 
this is just i look at that yeah. spawn for number six when jaws is alive you're spawning so far away and you lose dashy kenny took care of him this could be the start of the collapse it was the bastion of defense for optic texas now forward we go draza is proving to be a pain in the ass on a four spree about to make it a five shotzi though does manage to kill him on the cross shotzi doesn't get kenny though trade's done the a zone is still safe optic hold the line for now but they got a long way to go dashy back to the tower that is gonna be his home flanks coming in from la thieves draza maybe looking back to get in a similar position and everybody from la not pushing up the side don't want to deal with the tower just yet want to get the kills from mid one minute to go 20 lives either side shots he finds himself a corner he's in the gym putting in the reps there's hook and draza wins a big one so that's the top side of optics base not safe whatsoever Draws is waiting for the rest of the squad. Waiting for reinforcements. And this is just who going to be in a corner. Almost impossible to clear out. Optic right now. Everybody's got a little bit of coordination, but the stun on point. Who can't get help from that position? And now LA Thieves, they're going to be forcing this through the front. Here we go. One of the point. Staved off another attack. Wait a minute. Shotzi with the smoothest of moves. Up top. Catches another kill. Optic have hold the line again. Your verticality there and now if you're on the tower you're backing him down optic have so much more pressure and no real time to flank ghost is going to be watching it going to be feeding his team these comms 10 seconds to go in this round and la thieves cannot buy a kill last ditch effort gonna get shut down kenny should be that last player to fall optic texas they've done enough to force the round five. Oh my word fist bumps all over the belong arena there Pressure is on for both teams. For a final map for Optic for the championship now for Thieves. That is a two minute and eight second long hold on defense on the A zone. Optic are locked into this moment. One round to keep the dream alive to force the map seven after that trophy. Will it go to a final map? Fort for search and destroy. Not far away. One more round here on El Asilo. Optic get defense. And the sprees are still alive. Ghost unit four, Shotzi and Dashi three apiece. A lot of dangerous opportunities here. And for Ghosty, the danger may be coming directly at him. Two players here potentially to gun him down, but at least he drags one before he falls. Who got the lead by that player on the cross, but it's all guns forward for the moment. Able to take down Octane, looking for the trade as one tick of progress has already come through. A oh, wow. scattered bit of mess, but Hook found the timing to at least catch one. But LA Thieves, they got B first last time. They didn't like how that round went. Now they're attacking A. They're attacking A. They're still on it. That's the ghosty contest for a moment, but Octane and Envoy. Their resolve is strong. Their will still there. They hold on. A should be captured. Here we go. The assault on A is complete. The battle for B now begins. Last chance for Optic. Well, I might have costed him the kill, but just the next one from Draza. But you're exactly correct. On defense, they can secure A. How well do you work B? Well, Envoy's getting kills, and here comes the Cruz. A's Cruz, again, trying to flush Shotzi out of position. Does get him. Envoy now makes safe that small shack. Octane's now in the feed also. 20 lives left for Optic, 145 on the clock. He's reading the spawns as well. He's going to have to do a bit of a pirouette in the middle. A bunch of players challenging. Envoy is gone, but still pressure on the point. And Kenny has just filtered the next position. You're not going to read this. An extra couple kills. Octane now stacking the point. LA Thieves, they got three nearby. Three nearby. Two players on the stack. Anyone able to get under this one? Fly forward hoop. Trying to be the hero. Gets one. Trees damage. Not enough to get the third player. And that's it. It's done. He doesn't get the kills. It's over. They stack it up. They run it up. And another LSC low control. Hands a team a championship here in the COD League. For LA Thieves, maybe deja vu all over again. It struggles through the early portions of the year. But they look to level up when it matters most. And I know they collected a couple trophies and then the rings at the end of the Vanguard season. Well, they have set themselves up to do the exact same thing in Modern Warfare 2. They got their first championship.
They are heating up at the exact right time. It's a terrifying prospect for the league, and we say that a lot, and we mean it. The LA Thieves, their first major victory here in the MW2 season, and again, the late bloomers. Spring has sprung for this squad, and for Optic as well. Whether it's an SAE or another Grand Finals second place, LSC low control continues to be a problem for them. Commiserations to them. Second place still not a bad spot to be in at all, but for the LA Thieves, is this it? Is this the beginning of the takeover of the latter half of this season? They truly are looking dangerous. I mean, great in every single game mode. A new map gets added to the mix. Immediately, Octane looks like the best player on Expo. These guys have been on point. Here we go. Your major four champions at four to two. The LA Thieves. And that's another for the trophy cabinet. They'll go to the Cash App compound in Los Angeles. 100 Thieves, another dub. The LA Thieves, another one here in the CDL. They joined the league late, but that did not stop them. It did not slow them down and quickly becoming one of the toughest opponents that anyone has to deal with. An unbelievable resolve playing in front of a crowd like that. I know LA Thieves always having fun with it. All right, boys. Congrats. Uh, that was uh, sensational. A couple questions for each year. We're going to chat through the win. That was a wild, wild run. Uh, we have one mic, so we're going to pass it back and forth. Envoy, first off, the win. How are you feeling, pal? Feeling good, man. Um, wasn't our best final, or my best final, but I mean, the team really pulled through when it mattered. Um, it got a little scary in that side last SD and that last map, but, uh, you know, we ended up on top. You guys get it done. Uh, Sam, couple things. First off, round of applause, MVP. I, I want to hear how that makes you feel. Then uh, the other big thing, did I hear you after the win? I think the first thing you yelled was F the champs curse. Yeah. Um, appreciate the MVP first and foremost. That's fantastic. Uh, I'll get fine. I was going to find all the fun. Yeah, fuck the, fuck the champs curse. Like, it only took like 12 years to break that. So, um, I mean, these guys are my brothers, man. Uh, I've won countless, or not countless, but three tournaments at this point. Um, just feels great, dude. Uh, it was a good win. Optic in the final. I mean, shit, it felt great. Uh, it was uh, it was truly amazing. Now, Ken, let's revisit that question I had for you, where I said, "Are you guys like at that point yet?" And you're like, "We're close." How you feeling now? Uh, feeling really good. Obviously, love the win, but I don't think we're at final form yet. I think that's scary for a lot of teams. But uh, overall, love these boys. I mean, won another tournament, like Sam said. F that champs curse. <laughs> draws uh after major three you had like a point two or something i, I don't even know what it was uh, li listen draw draw draws you start you struggle there but listen you came alive here in s and d you were incredible across the board you were sensational i guess i would know how did it feel to rebound individually as a team and get the w yeah i mean that was actually insane i mean bro i mean we i got slam major three we got hella people talking shit Obviously, FaZe and then Optics in our bounty match, they're going in game chat after the, they, we lost. I was like, bro, what? So, yeah, fucking slammed. But yeah, it feels amazing. Um, I've been working really hard to get back to where I need to be to win with this team. And uh, yeah, guess who's fucking back? <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, congrats on the W. It was an impressive run. Sam, congrats on the MVP. That'll do it here. You guys are incredible. It was an amazing win. What a show you put on. We'll kick it back to the desk. Coached by two incredible legends in their own right, we have J-Cap and Shane behind the LA Thieves, champions of Major Four. And what a show they gave us, matching up against Optic Texas in the grand final. The rematch going similarly the way that it first went down in this winter bracket finals with the Thieves coming out on top. They were able to win Hardpoint, they were able to win Surge, and they were able to win Control twice in this grand final. Yeah. 
I mean, I think the most impressive for me had to be the search and destroy simply because that's been a weak point for the LAD's roster for this core roster for the past two years where they've had some serious up and downs. But I guess the script writers really wrote quite the script. I mean, they won a major four last year. They won it now coming into this year. And the question is, can they go back to back? Now, Ali, you are way better at stats than I am. And so. you and I were arguing in the green room. Who deserves the MVP? Is it we're Draza, arguing. my pick? Or is it Octane, the people's pick? Octane gets the honors tonight. Let's take a look at why. What was the human turret bringing to the table for the thieves throughout Columbus? I think Octane, I mean, he brings so much to the table. Not only does he have great comms and great leadership, but he has been the best AR in the game for quite a couple of weeks now. And then coming to this major into the finals, even the first time they matched up against Optic, he had a 1.1 overall. He was frying in the hard point, dropping yep. numbers in the control, and obviously to that point, Draza dropped a 2.0 in that search and destroy, but then we move into the finals where control now wins champions championships and octane was putting up the numbers in yeah i would say that that's the biggest difference uh when you think about la thieves and you know going up against the other top contenders in the league everybody can be decent at hard point you saw they split it in that series they won both the controls that's how thieves got it done and he's been the best control player in the world right since the start of this entire stage expo comes into the rotation octane sets the record on expo and he hasn't let off the gas since so uh for octane a deserved mvp him and draza you can see they hug at the end they both put on a performance throughout this entire stage and throughout this major so shout out to octane he definitely deserves it. nine tournament titles now for the world champion octane your mvp here for major number four 1.16 overall dropping 1.18 in both respawn game modes will stand even in search and destroy great stuff from sam larue and the whole la thieves they bank two hundred thousand dollars you Woo. saw them raise the trophy and they also bank our scuff play of the game let's take a look at this bad boy nameless the yep. thieves were going nuts here at the end man listen when i say kenny was putting on for the squad i can't say it enough this guy was popping two pieces left and right and in the final moments here he finds a kill and then he pops the streak he gets shotsy and at that point they have map control and they're able to get the rest of these kills and capture it but what you'll notice is hook is pushed up to white and they don't know that he's there they just ignore him and they go for the team stack trusting their comms and trusting their gunny the stack comes in they get the rest of this point and they capture it and get the victory. For me, though, he was the man to watch this entire game. I mean, two piece bailing them out of so many situations, it was all Kenny. Yeah, everybody talks about how terrifying Kenny gets kind of near the end of the year. And we got a taste of that during qualifiers in the beginning, yeah. but we really felt it there in that closing out of the final control to not push it to a game number seven. Team effort for LA Thieves. Each player having moments of stardom at the end, though. It's the squad that raised the 2020 World Championship title, doing it again with the trophy here at major four and with just one more major to go the question is who else can compete with the thieves right now for the top spot it's tough, man. I mean, well, when you look at it, like Optic got exposed by LA back to back. You think about the first series, a 3-1 wasn't really that close. And you think about this one, some close instances, but overall, like winning both the controls, the search and destroy looks good. Man, LA are the clear favorites for the rest of the season. Let's take a look here at our bracket alley. Update me on the upsets. What caught you off guard as we saw it was LA Thieves and Optic powering their way eventually to that grand final. Yeah, I think most people were caught off guard by Vegas Legion finally starting into that winner's bracket <laughs> and falling down almost instantaneously and saying goodbye to them on day number one and two. And then also the Seattle Surge getting dropped yeah. down by Atlanta Phase that they had just smoked previously in the qualifier and then getting reverse sweep by the Minnesota Rocker. But the biggest, at least positive surprise for me, had to be the New York Stop Liners coming in, doing their thing and making it to Sunday in the top four. Let's take a look at the prize money nameless because we're paying out the top eight. You can see the mutineers breaking into the $10,000 range. So will the surges they bombed out early. Ultra and Rocker bank 20 grand for their efforts, but it's the teams on the left that are earning the big bucks and will be competing for COD champs stardom here in just a few weeks. I mean, LA Thieves are having a pretty good time, huh? I mean, you <laughs> win an event last year, then you win champs. Now you win this, but... Just look at Atlanta. Third place is 80K. These guys have gotten top three in like 25 consecutive tournaments. Big dubs from those teams. Kenny's about to be a millionaire. Lock him up while you still can. We got to go to commercial break. The final one for about two weeks. We'll see you for Major 5, the qualifiers beginning at the start of May. Thank you all for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the show. Grind hard, keep it going.
hard cause some people phony And keep your mind on your money cause the girl's funny And nine months later now you really see who dumb is Not your boy though, I learn to creep slow I punish in this up trying to stop your boy though It's just a mag flow when I'm in the studio I mix it down and press it up and watch me rock a damn show And call the radio and tell them something new in town And all the bubble going rapid, please lay it down I said it with a frown, I hope you come in And no I'm not your bold dog or your best friend Bet your bottom dollar that I get that flip that Hustle in my blood, so I get that flip that Bet your bottom dollar that I get that flip that Hustle in my blood, so I get that flip huh? I'm a made Mac, so I ain't hearing that Some real music, good vibes, gets the real bad I pop my collar jack, I can't dig it baby And when I'm on the scene, I have them going crazy They haven't had this real stuff around lately Some like the finesse, the rest of the world shaky No matter what you do, you never could break me Why your heart full of hate, call it hate, you break it Self-taught, so nobody ever had to say me Self-made, so nobody could say they made me Game sold, never told, so you never play me To the top I go, no ifs or maybe Bet your bottom dollar that I get that, flip that Hustle in my blood, so I get that, flip that Bet your bottom dollar that I get that, flip that Hustle in my blood, so I get that, flip that huh. I'm a made mad, so I ain't hearing that Some real music, good 